Two weeks. Two weeks is how long the galaxy got to take a break from Shepard. Two weeks of peace. Two weeks of morals and ethics. Two weeks is long enough. Shepard is back and he's ready. So it's time to start destroying everything that the galaxy hath built, baby. Music volume engaged. There we go. What's up, everybody? Oh, hold on. Desktop audio on. <clears throat> well, hello, and welcome back to another stream. And welcome to your first stream if you've never been to one before. Dread. King yourself, crown yourself, Prince. Treaky, what's going on? Two weeks too long. You're damn right. Andrew blew it. It's him. It's the guy. Take a look in the mirror, Andrew. You're the guy. Stefan, Aster. Mm, my name is Mmm. Silky smooth voice. Well, actually, hold on a sec. <laughs> I, uh, I got a little something stuck in my throat. Always in the morning. I'll be fine in like 15, 20 minutes. So, apologize in advance. I tried to shut off my uh, receiver's voltage so it, the mic actually muted, but I don't think it did. I think I may have cleared my throat like right into the mic there. So you're welcome. Anyway, great to see you all. I'm, I'm excited to get back to Mass Effect. I don't know uh, how many of y'all were here for the last stream, but it was surprisingly fun. There was a lot of uh, bad things that happened. Bad for everybody else, not bad for Shepard. Good for me. Good for Shepard. Pure Renegade, pure incompetence, nightmare Shepard run. Evil John run. <clears throat> you can see... Um. Yes, Commander. He's got a certain kind of stare that really stops you right in your tracks. He's got that fluoride stare deep into your soul. Carry on, Presley. Yes, sir. But he's able to curb his like psychopathy and have relatively normal conversations when things call for it. It's true. We are we are making Saren the good guy. All right, let me get my bearings here. So last time we ended, we freed the Rachni Queen. Or no, sorry, the literally the opposite of that. Uh, we murdered the Rachni Queen in cold blood. Is what I meant to say. Sorry, I'm getting my shepherds mixed up. Um. Hey, Silvar. Thank you for the tip and thank you for the kind message. It is the two year channel anniversary. Now, when you say that you're, you're talking, oh yeah, no, it's like the channel channel, right? <clears throat> or did I I'm trying to think? No, no, it's the, it's the anniversary of my first upload, right? Pretty sure I uploaded Shadows of the Empire on April 1st. And what a fool I was. <clears throat> but uh, in any case, thank you very much, Silvar. Silvar, for all the horrible uh, mental anguish that you put me through, I will always appreciate how you have uh, been here since essentially the beginning. We'll never get like the beginning, the beginning. That's reserved for like my friends and family that I was showing videos to. And they were like, oh yeah, that's cool, man. But you were like as close to the beginning as like somebody, you know, somewhere else can be <clears throat> April 1st is the first upload there you go makes sense I didn't even uh, I didn't even think about that at the time and I've been a fool ever since um okay Pharos I guess that's all I can do next we got uh <clears throat> what's her name a sorry lady. Y'all know her name. Not me. I forgot. It's been two weeks after all. 
I don't think it's reasonable to expect the commander of a ship to remember like all uh, six of his main crew members' names. Time, commander, we got a transmission coming in from the Citadel. The top priority clearance. Is it the ambassador? It's not his signature. I think it's from the council. I'll patch it through to the comrade. Okay. What does that mean? Can I still leave? Do I have to go listen to it in like the uh, answering machine room? You kids today don't know what an answering machine is. Getting ahead of myself. Commander Shepard, we've received information that may be critical to your mission. Let me don Sarah. my spectacles here. Ah, much better. Is my Xenogears video the most watched of all time? Is that actually true? Kind of crazy. If it kind of crazy if true. It should have been Resident Dark or Perils of Pokey, but you know what? I'll take the mantle. I'll take it. I won't begrudge my lot in life. You didn't seem that interested in helping me before. Why now? Hey, thanks, Jay Hoon. The ten dollars. Happy and yeah, it's just unofficial anniversary. I won't be there on the actual day, so. the full force of the Citadel fleet against him. Nobody on the council wants to see you fail, so we contacted you with this latest. I'm gonna wait. Until we've received an urgent message from one of uh, gunfire starts before I start changing audio levels. You mean spies? Spectres tend to attract attention, Commander, but they are only one arm of the Council. Special task groups are often a better option. Hey, too tired for this. That's actually that's a some meta we thing to say for somebody with your username. It's scattered throughout the border regions of Citadel space. This particular unit was gathering intel on Saren. Xenogears video is is your favorite? Like my of all the Xenogears videos, my Xenogears video is your fit. You know what? I'll take it. Again, I'm I, I'm I'm happy to take it. With peace and love and humility, I'm happy to take it, but you know, Resident Arc did spend like 7,000 hours talking about Xenogears, so they probably covered some bases that I didn't. Might be worth a look. I don't like being kept in the dark. They're telling you now, Shepard. around the galaxy chasing false leads, Commander. We only contacted you because we feel this may be significant. Unfortunately, the message we received was little more than static. The infiltration team must be in a situation where they can't set up proper interstellar communications. But the message was sent on a channel reserved for mission critical communications. Whatever they were trying to tell us, we know it was important. Considering your interest in I think Saturday, Shepard's the one who's in the position to decide what's important and what's what not here. Our team. The signal originated from the planet Vermeer. I'll look into it. The Council prefers not to become involved in the specifics of Spectre activities. We only want you to be aware of all your options, including Vermeer. Good luck, Commander Shepard. We will keep you advised if we learn anything else. I, Spectres have, like, tenure or something, because... Yeah, basically within minutes, Shepard was actively proving... To, even during the Spectre ceremony, he was like, you're gonna regret this. Well, not really, but he was saying lots of things that would indicate that he would not make a good Spectre. But they were, like, duty-bound to still, like, give him the job. Alright, let's see. What options we got here? Vermeer and Pharos. Actually, let me look at my quest logs so I can get, like, a better sense of what's... Race against time. Oh, this is... I need to do them both anyway. Okay. It's a Vermeer and rendezvous with the Solarian team, or... Trying to remember like which are the worst missions so I can get them over with. While I'm all hyped up on black tea. Vermeer has sort of a nasty sounding name to it. It makes me think of like a hot, swampy, gross level that I'm gonna hate. So maybe let's go take a peek at that. <clears throat> oh no, okay, not exactly. I mean, come on. I, I don't know why, but I just found it so funny when I was scrolling the other day and they, the, the Resident Arc guys uploaded a video 
And it was called Commander, like urgent message from Alliance Command coming. Oh, another I'll patch it through. I'm trying to talk Shepherd, here. This is Admiral Hackett from Alliance Command. Big deal. You've got a situation here and you're the only one that can handle it. The, it was called like waifus and weeaboos. And then the like the line break and then it said two chads discuss. It was just so out of left field because it's not something that you typically see Resident Arc titling their videos. <laughs> But I think it's because somebody in one of their videos said that you're not allowed to talk about video games because they're chads, so they don't like have the authority to be like geeks about stuff. How come every time there's a problem, you end up running to me? You respect us, Shepard. And this isn't some run of the mill mission. There's an Alliance training ground where we test weapons and technology and live fire simulations. One of the VIs we use to simulate enemy tactics in the drills is no longer responding to our override commands. It's gone rogue. Synthetic intelligence is a dangerous technology, Admiral. A the warning. A, a warning from success. long ago. If only we had listened to Shepard. Status reports react in nanoseconds. No human could do that. But as advanced as this thing is, that military strategy is still just a VI. Yeah, I'm off coffee it's permanently like now. Rare. And it's completely disengaged. Unfortunately, I still miss it. That's where you come in. We need you to fight your way through the training ground of the VI Corps and manually disable it. Would I go and stay to the Ark if they invited me? Well, I mean, I'd be totally out of my depth, to be honest. Depending on the game, I guess. But, uh, I mean, yeah, for sure. It would be, it would be sweet. But... I'd have to like seriously like study whatever we were going to talk about so I didn't like instantly feel like the dumbest one in the room. Can't you disable it remotely? Our fail safes aren't responding. The VI operates on a closed network. It can't affect any external systems, but we don't have any direct access to its processes. We could bomb it from orbit, but the damage to the facility would be catastrophic. We'd prefer to have someone shut down the core. Someone like you. I know Spectre's answered the council, but you're still human. You're still part of the alliance. Oh yeah, I was having some and right now we need some heart issues. The VI so controls all the facilities, weapons, drones, and all uh, and like high blood pressure, so I uh that can pull this off, Shepherd. I made some Good changes luck. and one of them was quitting coffee. It's sort of the thing that I like So I like every single day for the last m close to ten years. I would wake up and like make myself coffee and I would drink at least a cup of coffee and usually another one after that and then the weird thing that I did was I would also have a cup of coffee in the evening so like it was like at 6 p.m. anywhere from 6 to 8 p.m. I would have another cup of coffee which I know is like stupid but I did it for so long that I just got used to it uh, um so when I quit coffee, mornings suck, but I have to say my sleeps are so much better. I did not realize how much caffeine was wreaking havoc on like my ability to get asleep and stay asleep. Hey, David John, thank you very much for the dono. I plan on having a great deal of fun. I hope you're able to stick around and see what uh, havoc the Hulk will be wreaking here. But if not, I do appreciate it. Vermeyer looks like a tropical fun planet, um, a party time planet, so. Gemini Sigma, that's me. I'm a Gemini and I'm a Sigma male. I didn't realize they named an entire solar system after me in game. Um, oh, was this just an assignment? Head to the solar system in the local cluster. Deal with the rogue VI on Earth's moon. Okay. No, wait. No, back in. Too far out. Too far out. You are correct. It is a little bit, uh, 
it is a little bit more important. I'm adjusting okay, by the way. The uh, the 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 T, it's it, the black T is like it's it's a decent replacement. I'm getting used to it. It no longer just tastes like tepid dishwater to me. Coinomatic, thank you for the donation as well, sir. With the heart shovels, hope you enjoy the tea. I'm learning to enjoy the tea. I appreciate that very much. And my heart's been fine. Um, they don't. I, I got an EKG and everything, and like it didn't seem like anything to be overly worried about. Um. So yeah, so it's it. I, it should be. It should be all right. But you know, better safe than sorry. There's stuff you can do to bring your. You don't want to have like you want to be at like high blood pressure ever, but like especially not, you know, before you even hit the age of thirty. Ideally, be able to bring that down. This is not the right thing. <clears throat> this is a totally different thing. I want to do the Rogue VI mission. What? Can, what? The Soul System and the Local Cluster. When it says Local Cluster, what is it like? Oh. Ah, yes, the local cluster. Of course. I could drink decaf. Yeah, but like, at least with black tea, there's like 15 milligrams of caffeine. Just like as much as like a Coca-Cola. So you can kind of pretend that you're getting some sort of caffeine. Like decaf is like just zero caff, right? Can we go to Pluto? I do not wish to battle the Ice Dwarf. Here we go. <clears throat> yeah, essentially tread. <laughs> That's basically right. What brand of tea? Uh, just Twinings? The one that I drink most is black tea. I think it's Twinings, pretty sure. Let's see, let's get a good balance here. Rex? Holly? Looking good, man. Is it Twinnings? It's spelt Twinnings, but uh, it's like... I want to say it Twinnings, because that sounds better. They should make caffeine cigars. They would go together splendidly. This moon is at least as great as any moon I've ever been to in Starfield, guys. Are you twin and <laughs> All right, that's enough chat for the day. Cut the feed. Oh yeah, and for some reason, there's like some like micro stutters. Even though I've got a... Uh, the most powerful Voodoo 2 graphics card that money can buy. So it's not my fault. Set destination. YouTuber might make a hit piece on me talking shit about Star Wars. Isn't that the opposite? I thought that uh, there was like an entire industry around making fun of Starfield on YouTube. I thought I'd be in good company. Guys, I found a pile of rocks and I am loving it. Oh, this is a crashed like uh, satellite, I guess. How do I leave the... Cannot exit. Okay, there we go. So I don't know what the like skin tight spacesuits in this game look a little goofy. On Shepard specifically, everybody else has an okay one. Excellent. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> we won't be needing that anymore. All right, guys. We knew this would happen. The mountain has to be climbed. Oh man. The Mako actually is surprisingly capable of climbing mountains. Okay. Never mind. I guess climbing mountains is probably the wrong way of putting it. Climbing out of craters. Why are there missiles flying my way? The Mass Effect 2 spacesuits look way cooler than Mass Effect 1's, I will say that. Oh, that was... That was a nasty dodge by me. Let's remember that one in the future when I'm... Not dodging any of the other things that come my way. Beautiful. Unscathed. Got a scratch on me. No, don't go to the Normandy. Mass Effect 2, in like a lot of key ways, is a step up, but there is like a certain charm to Mass Effect 1. There are things about it that I think are, you know, like the Mako and everything there's room for improvement in how they're implemented but i appreciate that they tried to make it a little bit more exploratory a little bit more like rpg mass effect 2 is when bioware was just sort of like hey these like gears of war games are pretty popular what if we like started making it so that like more people can enjoy mass effect which i can't deny it worked because mass effect 2 was the first one that i played back in the day but it came at uh it came at a cost I think I think the loot and the Mako sections in Mass Effect 1 mostly are kind of just annoying to manage, but I think they're, they could have like maintained some of the complexity and changed it a bit. Um, but they largely just did away with that stuff in the sequels. The chatification era. It's a good way of putting it. It is, like, it's more epic, I think. Mass Effect 1 is a little bit more... I mean, it's funny to call this game subtle after you punch a news reporter in the face, but there's a little bit more subtlety to the storytelling. It's not quite as, like, bombastic. Like, I, Mass, Mass Effect 1 is, like, more understated. And Mass Effect 2 is, like, it's time to take Earth back. And then, like, the Hans Zimmer wow, plays type of thing I'm having a, a bad time guys I forget how to play the game it's really loud it's really loud why does this always happen I've already turned sound effects volume down so much all right I don't think it sees me I think I'm gonna be just fine. Excellent. Warp, yes. Save the day with a warp. That's not doing very much. It's probably only good on biotics. Uh, sorry, it's been two weeks. I gotta remember how to play this game. Unscathed. Flawless. Perimeter secured. Okay, you know, who are you to tell me that the perimeter is secured? You were napping on the job for most of that fight.
I gave I gave her I guess first aid is probably like a passive skill, hey. I gave them first aid, I think, but uh it's not like something I can actually use. Thank you, uh, Molio. Happy Easter to you too. And uh, welcome here. Unless you've been before, but I don't recognize your name. I'm I'm in a very bad spot in terms of like Patreon and Discord and stuff. I'm I'm super bad with like people's names, even when I meet them in person. And it's like way worse when it's usernames and stuff. So I, I I've had to like actually practice all of like the names on on Patreon and everything so that I can remember them and like who's already a member of like my Discord and everything. It's a bad scene. I'm very bad at remembering that stuff. And it's like embarrassing and almost like derogatory when somebody is like been a member of your community for a while and you don't like remember their username. But it's like it's just me, man. It's just my brain. I don't mean nothing by it. Dread, you like firmly place yourself in my head so that I don't think there's any uh, risk of that happening. I shot the conduit and the conduit won. I will say that reading the names of like Patreon people uh, for the persons of Lordly Caliber, I'm I'm just gonna attest to this. I can basically like remember. I'm not gonna do it live, so don't ask. But I can basically remember like one after the other. So when somebody cancels, I don't take it personally because everybody, whatever, it's none of my business. Everybody has their financial situation. If you don't want to pay a YouTube guy like up over a hundred dollars a year. Uh, for content you can get mainly for free but when somebody cancels it throws off my entire rhythm I'll be like oh no what comes after this I I, comp I have to like re-remember how to say it that's true Every that's true too typhus everybody makes their mark in different ways bro has changed doesn't remember the fans shame you people are dead to me. It hasn't been about the music for a long time. Am I actually supposed to shoot these? Am I supposed to blow them up? Oh, door control. Oh, that's this door here. Maybe I should look at my quest journal instead of sitting here waxing. Philosophical. Oh, it is just destroy the conduits. Don't worry, I'll destroy this conduit. Don't worry, I'm Commander Shepard and I'm trained for these types of situations. Everybody stand back. This conduit won't know what hit it. Not working. I was hoping that data port would have uh, some information on these conduits. Supposed to like use a bomb or something? I don't even You're remember how. Go. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Great. Sabotage. <laughs> okay. Not working. All right. <laughs> conduits destroyed perimeter secured um I don't know there was probably some dialogue I should have been paying attention to <clears throat> our junction eh, I, don't know, I definitely remember trying to shoot those already
Man, like, what if you blow at the space station's wall? Get sucked in the vacuums of space. Why would you use explosive? Those, these are explosive-proof walls. Ye of little faith. These walls can withstand the force of 70,000 Giga Newtons. That running animation, though. Guys. I'm prepared to accept the consequences of my actions. Oh. We're fine. That actually was what you, you have to shoot it like 80 times? Is that one? Okay, yeah, it's blown up now. I was like, surely this can't be it. Uh, but no, that's, that's it. Guys, I'm getting toxified. Quick. Tali, help. Ah, much better. So what, do I, like, destroy the power junctions, too? Nice. Think we're good, Commander. What is the P.O. box address for sending gifts? Well, first of all, when you call them gifts, it makes it look like I'm a feudal lord allowing my subjects to present me with grain once a month, lest I destroy them. Um, but uh, the, the, there, there is a P.O. box if you want to send wacky, zany things. And uh, I'll go ahead and let... Uh, <laughs> I'll go ahead and let Jess post the P.O. box address in chat just in case anybody's interested. Tithings, tithings. Yes, tribute. Okay, fair. Think we got him, Commander. If you, if thou wish to send me tribute, thou may follow these directions. Three. First, bundle the bounty from your finest granary. Wrap it betwixt twine so that it may not come loose across the long transatlantic voyage. His majesty beautiful. <laughs> That's pretty great. Okay, so there's like three moon bases I guess I gotta find. Man, are my hands ever clammy? What's going on right now? Oh. Jess, can you do me a big favor? Can you, you, you see that fan over there? Can you point that fan at me? Thank you. Ah, yes. So, I'm from a bloodline of people that lived in minus uh, 45 degrees Celsius weather their whole lives. And as such, I simply cannot tolerate anything at or above room temperature. That's this ticket, thank you. I can feel my hands declimifying already, much better. You can see the wall behind me dancing in the wind. Can't I, can't a man just enjoy shooting some power junctions for no real reason? Do I need a reason to destroy the power junctions? All right, I've had enough of this power junction shooting nonsense. Let's get the hell out of here. Arms are tired from panning. <laughs> Des, could you get one of those palm leaves from the bedroom and fan me, please? And bring me my ranch dressing hose while you're at it. On to the next one. Gee willikers, I sure wish I had more than one... Uh, 
first aid kit, but I think it'll be all right. Surely you could just unplug them? I mean, not in this house. As a matter of fact, when I'm done with the fan, when I'm tired of being uh, fanned, I'm just going to shoot it. It's going to shoot the power bar that's attached to it. And then we're going to go and buy a new one. See, I don't believe in uh, recycling or like reusing appliances. When we use a microwave once and it gets any food on it instead of cleaning it, I just take it out and throw it in the garbage and we go buy a new one. Oh, this is not where I needed to go. I guess I uh, just got to keep searching. Oh, wait, is it in the same? I thought I searched pretty thoroughly. Is it in the same Alliance training ground area? Maybe it is. Because I don't know, maybe it's not a super big map. I'm gonna go vacuum my office to calm down. I don't know what like preceded this that necessitates you being calm, but I hope things get better. All riled up from the stream, I am gonna go ahead and say. Chef Bezos Ark, yeah. That's right. I want you to know that your Patreon money is getting put to good use. I'm repurchasing all of our appliances weekly in our home. So it's being invested back into the videos. Oh, I understand. Each of these is a base. Probably. <laughs> this is the worst quest in the game. It is? Why? Don't say that. You're making me nervous. Also, I wish I had another first aid kit. I'll stop talking about that soon, but... <clears throat> the terrorist asteroid? Is that the movie starring Johnny Depp where uh, Bill Gates hacks into a meteor and sends it into Earth? Filmed by Nathan Fielder? It's one of my favorite films. All right, stealth. Don't worry, guys. We're sneaking on in. They won't know what hit them. A nice, quiet moon base. That's what I like. Actually, I've been uh, getting recommended these videos from this guy who lives in... I think it's an Antarctic base. It's like a research station. Honestly, it kind of looks like super comfy. And like, I know it sucks that it's like dark all the time, but I live in a place where in winter it's like pitch black out like at 430. So I feel like I could adjust to that. Um, It's also bright all the time for much of the year, but <clears throat> it like they have like professional chefs that make food and they've got like a library and like botanical gardens and like a movie room. They've got board games and video games and like a gym. And they have like all of this stuff there because they're just trying to make life as like non shitty as possible for everybody. So when there's like a crazy blizzard happening outside that would absolutely kill you if you were in it and they're all on the inside and they have like these like big glass windows where they can see what's going on. I, f I find it to be a very comfy research station. I think I could, I could handle that. Yeah, the thing, they, it's funny because they were talking about how they had a movie night uh, like a, a week ago and they were watching the thing. It's kind of the perfect and like the most horrible movie to watch in the Antarctic research station. Wait, is this the one that I've already been in? Son of a bitch. All 
I guess it must be. Guys, it's not, it's not funny. Uh, just go ahead and ban anyone who laughs, <laughs> including yourself. <laughs> If that was the same one I've been in, then there's no more generators. Are you saying that to make me go back in? Is this a ploy? I'm gallivanting away from this space as fast as possible. There was like a power con to it probably, but I don't think there was a generator, was there? No, don't say that. Medic! Medic! The hell? Think we're good, Commander. <laughs> Some serious back talk. <clears throat> Thank you, too tired for this. That's a bit of a double edged sword, but I appreciate it. Wait, this looks the same. Oh, no. New locker. I'm in the mainframe. We should see what kind of weapons I got now. Oh, and I got points. I should keep charm at a minimum so I'm not tempted to be positive. On a four. Sweet. Uh, snipers, that's, re that's what I really want to know about. Equalizer. Heat sink capacity pretty low, but better damage, better accuracy. Well, I think that's probably worth the trade-off. Oh yeah, do I... I can equip medium armor. What is, so what is first aid actually? Oh, it is a skill. Hmm. Metagel cost one unit. Look, I've never needed first aid till now and I'm never going to need it. Look Shepard in the eyes and tell him that he needs first aid. I dare you. <clears throat> oh yeah, the, the yeek. The Y2K update. I've been... I've been getting told about that for several streams. Everybody keeps asking if I'm going to play Yeek. I'm like, I don't know, man. Have you seen the Running Shine video? What else is there to say? But I guess with an update, there literally is more to say. I'll revisit this squad update screen. You're not running shine. No, but I will say that running shine. Well, I mean, just on top of uh, like inspiring me in a lot of ways to make videos in general, um, you know, potentially much to his chagrin. Um, he he like hires people to do music and art for his videos. And I thought that was so cool that I started doing that, too. So he's made a difference. Oh, dead, dead already, man. Uh, let's see here. Uh oh. Not gonna lie to you, Rex, we're in a tough spot here. Unity, eh?
These are really tenacious little robots. Eee. Rex. Are we okay? Did we make it? What? We're not okay. We didn't make it. What the hell? All the way back here at the beginning of the level? Oh, why did I say why? Well, it's a game from what, 2006, 2007? I don't know why I was expecting generous checkpoints. But we all learned a valuable lesson today. This game came out in 2008, really? Oh man. I'm way off. Well, not like way off, but I'm off. <laughs> no, not the Normandy. It's on level terrain. Stop scolding me. Okay, hold on. Let's, uh... Oh, once again, didn't mean to do this, but it's probably good. Does 150 damage. I don't know. Is this good against robot guys? Damping. Cannot use... Biotic tech abilities? Okay. I don't know. It might be good. Reduce, okay, I might be like spreading this, the points a little thin, but immunity actually sounds like it would be pretty helpful right now. Carnage. I mean, if you can live long enough to do that, might be good. don't really understand stasis because it's just like a panic button I guess it probably says that, hey? <laughs> Mobilize a single target. But it says, okay, makes the target unable to move, but also immune from damage. I don't, so I don't fully understand that. Oh, uh, immune from damage. I guess, yeah, I don't know. If you need to get some distance, maybe? We're going to need some advanced first aid.
tech explosion. That sounds good. Yeah, yeah, there we go. AI hacking. Okay. This could be just what we need. Little optimization. Oh, right. I probably haven't picked up some things yet. Oh, hell yeah. Looking good, Rex. Okay, okay, little preparation, little more prepared. <clears throat> oh, upgrades, damn, I forgot about that. I forgot about those things. Uh, okay, right, you can slot them in. Okay, let's see, let's 10% damage reduction. Plus 50 shields, that might be helpful in this case. Toxin resistance. Uh, oh, biotic and tech attack. Well, I'm assuming, I think those robots just shoot, basically. Bullets. But I don't remember them using any, like, skills or anything. Damage protection is probably safe. percent shield bypass yeah let's see what's good against oh man oh but minus 20 percent damage ah tungsten rounds here we go i might put that on my pistol since i use it more often Oops. uh let's see here any more of them, uh, tungsten? No, of course not. I'm okay with Rex's accuracy being affected. Tali keeps dying really quick, so maybe, maybe a little health recovery. All right. I'm feeling good and I'm going to save now. Don't, I love that so much. Don't turn off your computer. Could you imagine how fast I would have to like dive to the power button on my PC to turn it off while it was saving there? First, what, I made one good choice out of everything I just did? Oh, whatever. You'll see. You'll see. Everything will work out just fine. No, we're not going to be on the moon for the whole stream. It's 
stop trying to manifest this reality. like there's nobody on your side in this crazy workaday world Hundred ten thousand subscribers doesn't mean anything everyone still wants you dead that's why you gotta prove them wrong and man oh man i wish i had more than one first aid kit as usual <clears throat> oh, my rounds wore off. So many things. Yes. Yes, you fools. Oh, that was quick. What the? Rex, you knucklehead. There's a turret right there. Oh, Tali, don't you think it's a little late to be valiantly running into battle? Up, Mr. Meatball. Only for eight seconds? That's long enough to say hello. Hi to your girlfriend. I hope she's doing great. You guys are lucky to have found each other. Yeah, yeah, the toxic gas. I know what I'm in for. Imagine using the tactical shooter elements. <laughs> Is there tactical shooter elements in this game? I didn't know that. Tell me about them. Guys, there's a whole other, there's like, I didn't even know that you could uh, hide behind cover. Beautifully said, Dread. My only problem with tactically using the environment in these rooms is that these robots just fly behind my cover and start picking on me. So my strategy has been basically to try to just like rip and tear them as quickly as possible before they have a chance to like come tickle me behind cover. And I've had varying degrees of success. <clears throat> I'm doing good, Flacco. How are you doing? I'm doing fabulously well.
All right, it's time to use some tactical shooter elements. Damn. That you're not panicking while hitting all of your buttons. I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm just good at hiding it. My face may be stoic, but... I'm hitting every single button on my controller. Oh, ah, oh, hacking succeeded. All right. Everything is going to be fine. All right, this hacked drone is not really doing much for me. And it's become more powerful. More hack? Shotgun may not be the best choice of weapon for the engagement. No, not you. All right. There might be more robots in here. So let's not celebrate just yet. Maybe everything's okay. All right, that's two down. First try, completely unscathed. get us out of here everybody stand back watch a master at work i'm colorblind somebody tell me is the is the shield changing from blue to something else and it's looking pretty much the same if you ask me so i'll just shoot it now i like that this building's fail safe is slightly annoying shields in front of the door. Oh nice, I got an achievement. First aid specialist. Oh man, that's the achievement you get when you suck at the game. So is this like the AI's effort to stop itself from being destroyed is to like put these little shields in front of its conduits? This will stop him. <laughs> Follow me!
All right, we're almost done. No, we're not going to be on the moon all stream. And shame on anybody who insinuated that. I didn't mean to close the door on myself. <laughs> I wish I would stop undermining everything that I'm saying immediately after I say it. No, it's not a moon stream. Oh, like I'm guessing you see this base so many times because there's so many like random Mako side quests that are basically this exact thing. I think this is the right one. Is it? Uh, I don't know. I don't remember seeing that shield ever. See, this is why I should have destroyed the power jump. Oh, no, wait. This is a locker that I opened already. So I should have... Uh, Destroyed the power junctions, so I'd know which one that I was, that I've been to already. Full moon stream. Full moon, please, not on this stream. Alright, I don't like where this whole moon stream business is going. thoughts on opening this whole shield thing none of them are good <laughs> everybody stand perfectly still i don't think you can see us oh never mind time for some ai hacking you guys take points i'll scout ahead from back here Excellent. Expertly done. And not a single scratch on anyone. And I'm just going to save for no reason. Imagine where green short shorts and chroma key the game up. <laughs> I don't think I would have thought of that in a thousand years. What a novel idea. <laughs> hey, my game is up here, Buster. No, oh, open, open. I love these the games way of communicating this is just by giving you like a tutorial message pop-up box. It reminds me of something I would do in like Game Maker when I was a kid. You'd have the Game Maker had like the default text boxes. So like for dialogue with characters, you'd basically get like a Windows error message popping up with your dialogue in it. wretched and battered carcass i hope you unwretch yourself by morning i appreciate the uh 
the, the message of goodwill. Uh, all right, you guys, you guys take point here. And a tactical, that's the tactical third person shooter at elements at work. Hacking. Tolly, you sh probably should stay on the ship from now on. Look at Rex valiantly taking a rocket in the face. No complaints. He's still at almost full health. Meanwhile, a strong breeze blows Tally over. of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you see it's like Baldur's Gate it's like Bioware was still in Baldur's Gate mode when they did these message pop-ups your hard suits heads-up display interprets it as a series of zeros and ones they repeat again and again blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die specialization class achieved specialization class will replace your base class and the talents of the squad screen Talent ranks in your base class? Oh, okay. Oh. Forgot about this. Commando. Precision strikes. Damage with all weapons. Improves immunity. Marksman assassination. Operatives. Manipulate their environment. Ah, uh, yeah. I'll probably go with commando. I'm a simple man. I'm going commando. Does it actually change anything about this? Oh, yeah. There you go. Nice. I am now in command. This chef, he's not going commando, but his underwear is so full of holes that he might as well be. It's like yellowed with age and other factors. Scratched. Then, wait, hold on. Okay, good. Just making sure I don't have to come back here. Or like the quest isn't going to be reset or something. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Ben Laz? Fire. Saren, searching for things. Oh, yeah. Let's do Pharos. Let's get Pharos done. Can't remember that one. It's got a lot of Mako stuff. Wait, maybe I should go talk to my squad mates, actually. Maybe there's some things to talk about. Maybe I should go be mean to my squad mates. Real quick. On, got to examine this monitor. I will be shocked if any one of my teammates has any inclination to open up to Shepard at all. There's no reason to ever tell your personal problems to this guy. <clears throat> Uh, 
What's your opinion on the last mission? <laughs> Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway, it should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Masoni's heard it all. Poor kid. How they kill their own mom. Any opinion on the Rachni? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. We weren't out here during the Rachni war. I'm not sure we have any... All right, I didn't ask your opinion on it. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Exactly what you did, Shepard. <laughs> nice. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? I should go. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> His face is shrouded in darkness. Unpleasant angle, but then I guess most of them are. <clears throat> if you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. <laughs> She's gone. You can't change that. <laughs> she, she, she already said she the same Rana. thing. Benezia was a good person once. Before she fell under Sovereign's power. Part of me blames Saren for her death. Part of me wants to blame her. And part of me just misses her. I should go. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> he's, in a, he's a very emotionally complex man. He's got a lot of complexes wrapped underneath the surface. Not you. All right, who else we got? Ashley, Rex, Garrus. Oh, and Liara still. Are they all like on the lower level? Every time they hear the elevator humming, they like suddenly their heart like sinks to their stomach. They look up at what they're doing because they know Shepard is about to arrive. Oh man, they're pretty much all just chilling here. Shepard, what can I do for you? What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting adventures. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was <laughs> Shepard, no! They tried the same with us, but we fought them off. It's not the same. <laughs> Seems similar enough to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species. <laughs> Shepard is the worst. You're still here. It can't be all that bad. <laughs> I don't expect you to. What, a, what an imbecilic response. <laughs> You're still here. <laughs> like, what does that even prove? What is that touchy subject? Of course I it is. I was just making conversation. <laughs> I wasn't trying to upset you. Your ignorance doesn't <laughs> upset me, Shepard. Oh, man. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. So long, Rex. <laughs> Shepard. Had an opportunity to save it, and he blew it. Commander, you have a minute to talk. Is this duty related, Chief? No, sir. Well, maybe. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? The aliens? <laughs> Once you're actually in space, are they aliens anymore? You don't trust their motives because they're not human. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons... If we take calibrations away from Garrus, he is going to shoot himself. That's enough, Chief. You always second guess yourself. <laughs> That's enough, Chief. Only sir, I have the you know, power sir. to be mean I'm to sorry, aliens on this online. ship. I'll get back to my duties, Commander. Commander, nice work out there. 
I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. Have you worked with a Spectre before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. At CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. Oh, nice. Being mean going to get me in with Garrus? As long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. Beautifully restated by John. Rose and ranks had got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate it. You did the right thing. Life's too short to sit around waiting for things to happen. Yeah, you're probably right. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Thank you, Commander. Oh, is that true, Kiwami? I didn't know that. I think... When I have played these games in the past, I've tended towards, like, Paragon. So, I don't know if I've ever noticed that you can influence him. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive corn <coughs> like this before. Big deal. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. What the hell is that supposed I'm to mean? To My ship is average-sized. been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. I don't like the idea of aliens studying the architecture of <laughs> I love that he just called it Ashley for insinuating this very thing maybe two minutes ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Since then, he's been thinking, yeah, you know what? She's got a good point. <laughs> this guy has just got no principles. I didn't bring you along to admire my ship. I know why I'm here. I'll do whatever I can to help you stop Saturn and drive his Geth armies back beyond the veil. I should go. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> well, nothing like raising morale with the old crew. This, by the way, was the default camera angle that the game went to when I got to the elevator. I didn't choose this. Okay, it's time to go to Pharos. The doors of Pharos. Everybody's favorite area across all of the Souls games. <clears throat> Followed by everybody's favorite boss. The Royal Rat Vanguard. I mean, it looks sweet when you're above the clouds. I mean, aside from the burning towers, the two burning towers almost reminds me of that tragedy. Oh man, not the hypotheticals. All right, all right, all right. Entertain this. Would I rather be able to only tie one of my shoes at a time, I'm assuming? or be forced to look slightly above the eyebrows of a person and never directly into their eyes while talking with them. <laughs> I can't help but feel like uh, Shepard somehow influenced the second half of that hypothetical. I feel like, I don't know, I might, I might go with the second one just because like, Eyebrows are close enough that I feel like some people would still register it as eye contact. It's kind of like looking at like a a cue card off camera or like a, a teleprompter or something. It's like, even if it's not s literally where the camera is, if it's slightly above it, you still like register it as somebody looking into the lens. 
some people might notice, especially people with like high elf eyebrows, they're just gonna think that you're staring at their eyebrows, which, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, if somebody had like weird eyebrows and you were forced to look at them, they would probably see that as very rude, which you know, could be a problem. <clears throat> um, which is the only, okay, no, I'm taking Garrus actually. We'll do a uh, boys club today. I think it's mostly robot type. Actually, Kaiden might be a good choice. Oh, uh, what the hell. Probably never bring him on another mission, so let's enjoy this. Um, Equalizing Velcro shoes. With yeah, but like having atmosphere. one of your laces untied would get... Oh, <laughs> the commanding it's becoming one with the planet. Exo Having one of your laces untied would be so annoying. Deck. I don't know. I think I would rather do the the eyebrows. No, but then I would do this. I would do the laces because there are times where it's like eye contact is really important. And like, look, I'm not trying to sound cheesy or romantic or anything like that. But never getting a, being able to look into my girlfriend's eyes would be depressing after a while. I would rather suffer the Sorry, untied shit. lace. Than be condemned to an eye contactless fate, I think. What's so important he needs to see me right away? The Geth are making another push. Fidan is preparing our defenses, but he needs your help. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Look out! <laughs> that was such an oblivion moment. Beta and it, oh no. <laughs> I, I, there's so much going on right now, I just can't even process it. Also, I'm weeping knowing that this is a geth level and I'm gonna have to fight a bunch of geth. Simp, it's over. It's so over. Me breaking up with my girlfriend after the stream because I'm scared of people calling me a simp for the rest of my YouTube career. Oh, come on. Come on, male ship. Don't worry, I got this. All right, I miscalculated where the geth actually was. Get out of there. Stop hiding. Owned. <clears throat> oh, the fast geth, I remember them. First, the customary squad upgrading. Okay, that's too many points, and I'm never going to use them again, so auto level. Very nice. Very good. A lot of great stuff here. A lot of great stuff. Of sabotage.
Okay, and equipment time. <clears throat> oh man, look at that assault rifle. That's that's a Garrus tier assault rifle. We'll deck Garrus out first. Then if there's still any weapons left afterwards, then our friend Kaiden can have some. That's a big if. Most of these snipers are kind of lousy. Oh, nice. Very cool. Smash damage. I don't know about that. Look at that, a nice little armor set, just for you. <clears throat> Put on subway servers. Well, like while I'm doing while I'm slotting upgrades in so that so that my audience of predominantly uh, zoomers with ADD don't get bored I'll have subway surfer, surfers on the left and like uh, AI Joe Biden and Donald Trump arguing on the right about in a call of duty lobby and there will be like um, that little that generic like TikTok music that I assume is royalty free that's in every one of those videos playing in the background or the Sigma male music. And then there'll be like a big like and subscribe thing that comes up on screen and you can't see anything for a minute. Oh. There's like a different category of mods. Ooh. I mean, obviously. <clears throat> Who doesn't know that? Uh, more damage, but less heat absorption. More damage is good. I like more damage. <clears throat> Oh, thank you, Eldritch Teapot. I am looking forward to getting going on editing on it. I'm still writing the video right now, but there's a lot more, there's a lot more going on in Ultima 4 than there has been in previous Ultima games. I've got a lot more material to comb through, a lot more bases to cover, and uh, I'm gonna try to make the video as good as it can possibly be, because I want to be, I want to be really thorough. You know, after the moon base, these guys aren't so bad. Come on, Gears. Oh, it's Kaiden. Never mind. Kaiden is hiding. Can we get to the Underworld games? Of course. Absolutely. Underworld games are, like, not only... They might as well be, like, mainline Ultima, and they're, like... Just in terms of, like, industry importance, they're, like, close to the top, I would say. So, you soldiers. better believe it. Oh, we're getting thorough. We're getting more thorough than you can possibly imagine. I fear the Geth will kill us 
assault. Guess again. The guests can't be allowed into the Let me use the no. They're coming. They just keep on coming. Actually, to the game's credit, memes aside for a moment, they actually do a pretty good job of making the whole Pharos thing seem like a really hopeless situation. You go to space with Richard Gary, and I won't be satisfied with how thorough you are. Man, I forget how much it was, but like, there, uh, there was like a thing showing how much he paid to be, to do that. I don't think that's gonna be happening for a little bit, unless the Patreon uh, explodes and I start making ten million dollars a year. In which case, they better send me that sweet Patreon award. But uh, short of that, I don't think commercial space flight is in my immediate future. Uh oh. Oh wait, this is just probably gonna unlock a Mako quest. The guests are mounting another attack. Go fund me to send me to space. <laughs> no. <laughs> wait, I don't wanna go to space. No one can hear me scream there. The guests just keep coming. Hello, off worlder. I'm glad that we are totally so weird by the rest of the galaxy. Conversation. Dear, please try to rest. You're you're not ready to speak. But they should know. Uh, I mean, they are very important. Yes, that's better. <laughs> it's a nightmarish look. I'm not going to catch anything from you, am I? <laughs> I One of his eyebrows raised like a DreamWorks poster. Clearly, it's just a lingering pain from from the last attack. I'll be fine. I can't see any significant damage, but something is clearly causing the pain. Just let her rest. She just needs rest. I'll ask the question. Say the things here. If I review Ultima 9 from the orbit of the oh, moon, I can come back. back. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since. Watch out! The dubstep started playing. Protect the heart of the colony. I got just the thing. That was pretty good cover. Okay. We've got guests. Protect the heart of the colony. I guess it's not over. Oh, I see red dots. I see lens flares floating in the middle of the room. Uh, you know, just to feel like I'm doing something here. Why is there... Well, whatever. <laughs> They're like those little rainbow stones you can drop in Dark Souls to remember your path back. Okay, wrong way. 
follow Shep. He's valiant. He's cool. He's suave. He's mean to sick people. He doesn't know how to talk to the depressed of the Citadel. He's kind of mean to his teammates. He shouldn't be a Spectre. He's Shepard. He doesn't believe in cover. All of the whole talk about cover, that's all just uh, brainwashing from big tactics. From the tactics industrial complex. Why are these guys so much easier to deal with than those little moon robots? Uh-oh, I shouldn't... listen. Yeah, that's me. You're probably wondering how I got myself into this mess. Unscathed. Completely unscathed. That should keep Fidan and the others safe. After an update, we can head out... Do I think we're anywhere close to a legitimate sequel to Legend of Dragoon? Oh, man. Probably not. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think it's, uh... I think it's unlikely. It... It's, it's not impossible, but... Who, okay, so who owns... The rights to is is it Sony themselves? Because that game was made by. I may be way off base here. That that game was made by. Either Japan Studio or like the team or like the team people that would go on to become Japan Studio. Am I crazy? Is that totally wrong. <clears throat> But, I, I don't know, in any case. I think that, um... Th they would maybe produce a remaster of the original, at most, to gauge interest, but I think... I mean, looking at how much video game development costs now... Um, how much goes into it it would be a huge commitment for them to to do like a sequel or even like a remake for that game um the the it's it, game development time and budget is getting to the point where they basically only produce things that they are that they are like guaranteed success because if something doesn't make billions and billions of dollars it's a financial failure and something like legend of dragoon is just sort of like niche enough i think that Oh Unless they were to do a very simplified sort of remake, um, the cost benefit would not work out for them. This music is sweet, by the way. Just thinking about, like, I was like sort of in awe, and it's pretty, it's kind of like an obvious point to make, but while playing the like FF7 Rebirth, I'm like, there is like more um, geometry in like a fence post than there was in basically the entirety of the original FF7. It's like where once upon a time they had like a couple of people assigned to. 3D models for a game. Now it's like they have one giant team with multiple sub teams doing specific parts of the 3D models. So like background details and furniture and stuff like that. And then you've got characters and like even and stuff like the hair on a character. There's its own like pr proprietary technology that needs to be used to create like hair physics and stuff like that. And like every cuts the amount of like effort and work the amount of man hours that goes into every cutscene is well i mean on top of probably being untenable honestly it's just like at this it's at a thing where basically games are either like indie games 
with no budget that like need to become inexplicably really popular um or they're gigantic productions that cost so much money that they have they basically rely on um like post-release microtransactions to even make their money back which is i don't know it's a it's a bad time for remakes of obscure properties i'll say that much Yeah, the double A game. I won't say it doesn't exist, but it's uh, it's tougher. Even like studios like say CD Projekt Red circa like 2011 before they really like blew up with Witcher 3, like Witcher 2 was uh, it was was like a double A game. It was a monumental amount of work to make that game happen. And the amount of uh like crunch that went into that game and and like the, the technology that's running the red engine and everything like and that was like almost 15 years ago at this point it's only gotten more difficult i think thankfully it's gotten easier to make like no or low budget games Alpha, huh? We'll see if he gains health faster than I can punch him. Yeah, right. The sheer, there is, yeah, there's a lot of games. And I mean, that's not going to change from here on out. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, with like dev tools like Unity. I mean, it's this, it presents sort of the same, like, it's the same good and the same drawback as something like YouTube where it's like, you basically open the floodgates to allow almost anybody to become a filmmaker and to have their work seen. But at the same time, uh, that's a lot of competition that you wouldn't like, if you made a movie in the 90s, you shot a movie on like a 16 millimeter camera in the early 90s, like you, and you edited the film by sitting in a, a, an editing room and splicing it by hand and you, you know, developed the film and all this stuff. It's expensive, takes a lot of skill, it's difficult to do. But the upshot is if you spend a year and a half doing it and you finish it, you're one of relatively few people who actually put in the effort. So if you produce something of quality, there's a good chance that it'll get seen at least. Not a great chance, mind you, there's still a lot of fortune involved, but... Um, <clears throat> now it's like shooting on video and like the accessibility of editing tools and all this stuff has made it like easier than ever to become a filmmaker but it's made it easier than ever for everybody so it's like you better make something that is absolutely awesome if you want anybody to pay attention to you and even then unfortunately it's still kind of a gamble Hold it, hold it. Excellent. Rogan's destroyed. I don't like the look of this transmitter tower. I guess this is what I'm supposed to do. I'm just kind of like bumbling my way through the through the level. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, like Fenrir, I'm sure you can probably say from experience too. Like, uh, you know, with art, like it's a it's it's pretty crowded market now because like. I mean, an art is one of those things that's always been, like, fairly accessible to anybody who's interested in doing it. Um, but now it's like, yeah, there's there's a lot of stiff competition with the internet. You're able to, like, 
display your work and um you know digital tools make it kind of easier to do certain things that were like previously really difficult so it's like it's 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 like more of a matter of like kind of doing it going in with the mindset of like i'm doing this for fun and i'm perfectly okay with not succeeding in it and then like kind of quietly hoping to succeed in it at the same time right in the dink <clears throat> Yeah, for well, actually, I would I would almost say when it comes to developing video games, when it comes to making movies, when it comes to making video content, when it comes to doing art, when it comes to doing any of those things, now more than ever, it is about finding a niche. It's about finding like a specific audience and doing something like specific, because there's a lot of like people with very specific interests out there. Um, you know, so movies like, I don't know, I'm thinking of, like, indie movies being, like, I'd say, a, like, uh, a movie like The Lighthouse, it caters to a very specific niche, but that niche has gone kind of, like, not unfilled, but, like, it's, it appeals to, to people with, like, a specific enough interest who are hungry enough for that kind of film that they're gonna come out in like big numbers and see it and they're gonna buy like a hard copy of it and they're gonna support it big time so even though that movie like by big studio metrics they would never be interested in it because it wouldn't be a success it still somehow manages to find success and build a reputation for the filmmakers who made it because it's just like it carries a very strong appeal to a very uh, particular kind of person But yeah, finding mass appeal without billions of dollars in your pocket is pretty, pretty tough. Pretty tough. You don't get John Carpenter's making movies these days. You don't get some guy who gets seven million dollars to film like a fun movie and it might be a huge runaway success and it might totally fail, but it doesn't actually matter that much because it was only seven million and the studio is okay with losing it. It's not really how it works. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate that. I actually, I have to say that there's so many great uh, resources out there for Ultima that a lot of my research work is like really well cut out for me already. So uh, I'm I'm very fortunate because a lot of the times this stuff is not well documented, but Ultima has a wealth of resources. Tower secured. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. <clears throat> they may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come yeah, back. Yeah, true, Kirby. Any any game developer is taking a risk, even if they're not putting a single dollar into their own development and they're all solo deving it. You're still spending potentially years of your life building something. So when a, when something like that finds success, it's like it's a huge relief it's not like ah, eh, nobody bought my game but that's okay it's like no i spent like the better part of my 20s or 30s or 40s making this thing and it's amounted to nothing for me so it's always good when it like it, it hooks onto this to this niche wario land was a good idea because there's almost nothing like wario land out there tell me what the geth want why are they attacking you if you want answers go ask them yourselves we don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny headquarters. Sentinel ally? Of course, I don't know what that achievement means. Here and there. Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. <laughs> then maybe I can get this colony operational again. Sounds bad. Where's the option? 
Where's Renegade Chef option? We'll get going then. Good luck. Yeah, there's a there's a reason that despite physical media like dying, something like Criterion still manages to to thrive. It's because there's like not that many people who care, but the people who care, they really care. And they have found that audience and they have only brought more people into it. They have not pushed people out. They have done a really good job of catering to that audience. And uh, so there's still room for things like that to work, but it's tough. You're the one who repelled that last wave. They'll be back. And if the Geth don't kill us, we'll die of hunger soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. The Alpha Varen, he's huge. Don't he's worry, bad. I'm Rather on it. Me, totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I killed the big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Fork over the reward so I can get back <laughs> to more important things. Of course. I don't want to delay you any more than I already have. Fork over the reward. Oh man, I've got Paragon points big time for that. That wasn't worth it at all. Yeah, that's true. When I see if when I see a video title that otherwise looks interesting to me, but the thumbnail just is like it's it's like just baiting you with like giant boobs in the thumbnail or something. I'm just like to me you've sent you've sent me a message with that thumbnail. You've said to me, I'm more interested on you clicking this video than you actually watching it or appreciating it so i almost just never click on videos by virtue of that because it's like i don't know it, it, it says a lot about like what the goal of the video is when you're like trying that hard to get people to click on it thanks fenrir appreciate how any devs able to make the equivalent to full dev teams in the 90s yeah totally well for sure and that's the thing it's like if it weren't for the fact that there was so much competition it would be like a perfect scene but in a way i guess it's it's good for the like consumer because it's like you have your pick of the litter essentially whatever you want out of a game there's probably somebody who's either made it or is working on it the uh, problem being it's not being made with state-of-the-art technology, so if that's where your interest is, then... Then you'll have to look elsewhere. You will have to wait for your favorite game studio to spend eight years and billions of dollars finishing the sequel to the game you like. <laughs> no woe checks on thumbnails. Coomers have no rights. And now to the Geth base. Ready for anything. Anti Coomer rights. The last batch went south. What are they looking for? We're picking up a comm signal. It's weak, but there's definitely someone else. Is that Norwood 5? At, at what point is it no longer even Norwood? Is that only when you're completely just like cue ball mode?
Expertly dodged. Whoa. I, I'm assuming the physics remain relatively unchanged from the original release. Unscathed. take a quick break i'll be back in two minutes and then we will continue
more chatter incoming, Commander. Still no fix. Forget them. We need to deal with the Geth. We need to deal with the Geth. This is the word coming in from the top from Garrus Vakarian. I think she's talking about Shepard arriving. I've been protected by the concrete cylinder. All right, I can use it as a shield moving forward. Uh oh, oh man. Everybody hates Shepard so much that even inanimate objects phase out of existence just to avoid him. I'm getting tired of it. I missed a dialogue? Did I? Oh. Thank you for the tip. I see an X on the map. I'm assuming that's what you're talking about. Bad news. I'm back. Jong, they're obviously not Geth. Get not obvious. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest you put that weapon down. I'm Shepard, and use. I'm Shepard. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. <laughs> Biden, you think you can get? <laughs> yeah, go get him, Shep. He's like rubbing his shoulders. Got this guy in my corner. You thought wrong? I'm assuming he's talking about the being the only humans left and not being a friendly face. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They survived, but the Geth really hit them hard. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> you see? The Didn't dialogue is so us? markedly she different from what the preview of the dialogue is. Him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit Glass him. the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company's secrets. <laughs> Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We can do a <laughs> proper accounting of our casualties. This guy, <laughs> Shepard's like, yeah, That's this guy's not so bad. This about. Ethan fella she's is kind alive. of on the level. I know it. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... Shoot to kill. Got it. We ran when the attack hit. I hope you're gonna get us out of this mess. Yeah, you're the one. I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. <laughs> Fair enough. I need to retrieve some Oh, data. I feel bad for Gavin. Job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good. Good. Oh, never mind. Pokemon He's trying to protect, a bit too as Neil Breen would say, well, the most right, secret government and corporate secrets. It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Eloquently put, Jess. I'm not a good specter and I'm not a good driver, but 
I'm also not a good man. Yes. Omaha Beach. Wait. Begun. I'm taking you with me. <laughs> Wonder if you can ramp off the edge. Ah, oh, man, I can't save. But a man. I totally landed, stuck the landing. I totally stuck the landing. How could, how could this be a game over? I cannot believe that that's a game over. <clears throat> Unbelievable, man. It's the worst immersive sim ever. Act to the moon. <laughs> My most recent auto save. It's from like two and a half hours ago. Some juggernaut. Cooking Mama retrospective? I'm sure that's already been made. I'm sure there is at least an hour long Cooking Mama series retrospective on YouTube right now. I would be very surprised if I were the first. <laughs> Happy Easter, EJ. May your rest be peaceful. May you awaken re-energized. What's, what is the animation there? much omni gel i have i think i can just start not doing the super fun hacking mini game uh, i don't know about this thing <clears throat> however all right it was a good idea but alas Not that good. Sabotage everybody, Beastie Boys style. Okay, that was not good. I did barely any damage. Maybe no more sabotage on the Geth.
Excellent. Man. Moments of quiet are making me nervous. Hold on, let me just check my trusty map here. Okay, so we go back through there and shimmy through the wall. Did this room I miss something here? Uh, yeah. Oh, no, you can't go over there. He's ready for Mass Effect 4 next week? What did he mean by this? Thanks, Treaky. Appreciate you, buddy. What's, uh, your Shadow Tower video looking like? How far far out are we? Looks like the Geth are settling in nicely. <clears throat> Renegade shooter, right trigger. I'm so sorry. I thought you were Geth. <laughs> oh, Shepard doesn't look happy. Run, run. <laughs> Who are you, and what are you doing in here? It's my own. Fault. It's furrowed brow. Everyone else was running. And Moments before started. disaster. This is what you'll see. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... Oh, right, I forgot that you already had another video in the works. I won't say which, because I, I think you might be purposely leaving it ambiguous. I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. What's a Thorian? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I need more information. I need to know why the Geth are after this story. I... I might be <laughs> able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Great. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. <laughs> but I think the Geth Tried to put on that smarmy there. tone. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You Any suggestions? Tables, all it's like Gary Sinise and Forrest Gump. Maybe we should shoot through the, the energy gate like we did in Vietnam, Elizabeth. All right. I'll look into it. Stay put until the field is down. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll just find a small hole to hide in until the field is down. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. I would get into that small hole now, by the way. <laughs> That's the Santa sound. Everything is fine. My brother, who I'm supposed to shoot something with? Got COVID and delayed two weeks. I misunderstood that message at first. I thought you were going to shoot him with something. <laughs> but I understand now what you mean. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope he's okay. Stupid machine! Access encrypted files. Rogan found. No, I don't Weapon switch to lethal control. mode. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust. 
It's kind of a funny line. Contact your supervisor for a level four security exemption or make an appointment with. Stupid machine! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. Hold on a minute before you throw that energy ball at me. I just want to ask you one thing. Are you feeling the havoc that the chef is wreaking? <laughs> Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. Magnificent and majestic. Oh man, I don't know about that, but I'm glad you love the videos. Uh, how do you know I'm Elizabeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Oh yeah, I've is seen some of Grimbeard's videos. I'm subscribed to him. He makes really good videos. Speaking of like interesting niches, the stuff he covers, uh, yeah, it's uh, he he's got a a good thing going with his videos. He he's like one of the more like original uh, people who do reviews. I guess you could say that I follow. What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. What did you tell him? I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zeus Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. Man, the zoo's hope like every interesting results before non traditional, non humanoid alien species we run into represents an existential threat to humans due to their ability to control them. You bastards. Exogeny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary <laughs> to assess the true potential of species 37. No wonder they were behaving so strange. Oh, thank you. No, I am, I am humbled to be uh, in the same sentence as such a person as Grimbeard Joker come in Joker damn it which sounded like sarcasm blockers. it was more like hyperbole not being sarcastic VI tell me about the field surrounding the facility I have limited data on the get they have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility in the future, there are no movies, Zachary, that's why. But I'm unable to determine the source. <clears throat> the only movie is Loveless. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. <clears throat> Going to standby mode. Time to kick some ass. If this was Mass Effect 2, Shepard. He'd be saying something so cool right now. You're gonna burn, all right. You may have copper wiring to reroute your fear in combat, but I've got nerds of steel. Oh man, I didn't mean to drop down here. Somebody help, get me back up. Now this pistol is getting the job done. The cat must have anchored their ship to the side of the building with these claws. The cats certainly aren't subtle. I'll oh, see you, friend. Good luck coming. with your shift. Could the ship be dislodged? Uh, Maybe F, there's a flaw. F for Fenrir and chat. It's been a rough schedule. And it sounds like it may continue to be. Okay, now if I remember this area correctly, it's about to be a bunch of really annoying geth that jump all over the place. Hey, okay, 
You're gonna make a fool out of me. All right, never mind. That one sucked. That was terrible. Well, you can jump anywhere. Why'd you just stay right there? Man, some pretty impressive reaction time. Get out of the way, you giblet head. Uh, man, we're going to need something better. Something better. Thank you guys for saving me. I panicked. <laughs> Shepard, the minute the enemy was close to him, he didn't know what to do. He just froze up. It's like all his training went out the window. He forgot the melee button. It was a bad scene. Oh yeah, I have touched on Fear and Hunger, and that's about as far as me and Fear and Hunger have been. I played a little bit of Termina. Didn't do a very good job. It's too, it's too spooky for me to play for extended periods. I feel like a darker person after. But it's really great work, especially for RPG Maker. <clears throat> I am, uh, the, I am pleased to have been the person who introduced it to Super Eye Patch Wolf, which in turn, um, I think did quite a bit for its popularity. So, I'm at least partially, indirectly responsible for uh, the game becoming well known. Although it was probably thanks to the person on Twitter who uh, recommended that I try it when I asked for RPG Maker games. Would that I could remember who it was, but got a lot of recommendations. Damn, so close yet so far. Well, according to Super Eye Patch Wolf himself, he was on a podcast where he said that he caught wind of it initially from my RPG Maker video. He said he watched it on Majular. I was like, that's the official secondary pronunciation of my channel's name from now on. Because if the Eye Patch Wolf says it, I will find a way to make it so. random YouTube recommended about the ultimate video. Oh, really? Like, you, like somebody else in a YouTube video is like, said something about my ultimate videos. That's exciting. I'm, I'm, it's always surreal to like encounter that in the wild. Somebody mentions, I think uh, in Civit's uh, Shadow Tower video, he said something about my Kingsfield videos too and how good they were and I really appreciated that. I mean, I don't know if I use the term videos plural. It was a video made of several different parts. Oh, the dark seed video, even better. Has the dev for, uh, Fear and Hunger put in like a Twitch friendly mode yet? Because I remember hearing that that was the plan, but. Because the game is basically unstreamable in its like base state. Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate that. Not you. <laughs> if 
a, a YouTube doll, a, uh, what are they called again? U2s? I don't know, my limited time doll. Once I hit 500,000 subscribers, you'll be seeing all kinds of special merchandise. I will say this, I paid an artist, and I paid the artist healthily uh, for the Shadow Tower thumbnail so that someday if I want to make a metal album themed t-shirt out of that tower, I could. So the initial thing was actually t-shirt shaped, which is not thumbnail size. So I asked our friend, Fenrir, otherwise known as Lazarus Day Lee, if he could extend that a painting that had already been done of the tower so it could be like a thumbnail and he did a great job of that but i do have like a very high resolution base that if i wanted to create like a heavy metal album cover shirt from the shadow tower art i have that in my back pocket uh, ee -hee. The t-shirt with the Meshuga logo, but it just says Mad Sugar. I, I don't know. I guess it depends on how lax um, Meshuga is with their, their intellectual properties. The only reason I assume I can get away with uh, Shadow Tower is because there's so many artists who basically make their entire living doing from software stuff. Oh, a puzzle, huh? Well, that sounds like a hoot. Man, between this and like the uh, the plates puzzle where you have to like, oh, you gotta move the plates from one end to the other using only like the three pedestals. This is like, this game's puzzles are like um, books that like my grandpa would have had in the 90s. A book of puzzles. You can only distribute up to 30 PSI. Find a way to close the door. All right. The door out will be open now. We can head back and deal with the Storian thing. Well, that got the job done. Keep your guard up. There still might be a few gaps inside the base. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. Joker? Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. <laughs> to be the only home. human Trying survivor after a disastrous ship. apocalypse? Then to be taken by aliens who forced you to explain that you've been able to escape that catastrophe? Okay, hold on. That's one of the two things. The only human survivor after a disastrous apocalypse then to be taken by aliens who force you to explain how you've been able to escape the catastrophe or to write a best-selling book in the 17th century about how to get your cow up and running. Oh, hold on. I missed a part two. There's too much of the chats are moving too fast. Only to end up inevitably framed and remembered among the galaxies as the one who farted his way out of the end of the world or to write a best-selling book in the 17th century about how to get your cow up and running for the upcoming spring season? The, what, that sounds way better. Why wouldn't I want to pick the second option? It seems like a win-win if I pick the second option. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. I'm not sure I entirely understand like the, uh, the weight of the part one of that hypothetical. Aside from the fact that uh, I wouldn't want to be uh, the lone survivor and have all this stuff happen. We're leaving, but let's rid this place of those damn synthetics before we go. Uh, 
We're gonna show those synthetics who's boss. We only wish to feel love. You're welcome, Kirby. Anything I can do to make the research paper process a little bit easier. What's 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 the subject of the paper? Is it something that's like interesting or is it something that's killing your soul to have to talk about? It's all about how you'll be remembered. Okay, I see. Yeah, I don't know this. I still feel like the 17th century one is... It's like less humiliating. It's not like the gold standard of being remembered, but I'm, I'd be I'd be more okay with that. A good life in the 50s or an amazing life in the 1740s? Uh, I, I would... I'd probably rather have a good life in the night. Like, okay, it depends what you mean, I guess, by good. Are you talking, like, health-wise or, like, money-wise? Like, how much, uh, like, how luxurious a life I lead? How much people like me? I feel like after good, you start getting diminishing returns. And, uh, I don't know, there's a lot of risks to living in the 1740s that I feel like I wouldn't be very good at contending with. And it's so dark on my screen, I can hardly even see what I'm... Okay, this map is... Oh. Alright. Yeah, I mean, being nobility in the 1740s wouldn't be so bad, but bear in mind, the 1950s, so, like, a lot of the things that, like, I don't know, we rely on for entertainment, we're closer to that in the 50s. Still far away, but, like, I guess being more familiar with, like, the culture of the 50s, being, like, closer to it, I would rather, um, I would rather be in the 50s. Just because the 1740s, the culture would be so alien. Unless you grew up with it, if that's a part of this hypothetical. <laughs> you said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. That is true, Naffer. That's I why I'm wondering if the, the, Thorian, the good the life, I could send the message, if that's related to I, all I facets of life, then... Then, uh... You know, that kind of changes things a bit. If it's just, like, the sort of general quality of life you lead... I would say 50s with no hesitation. Because... Medicine is better. Um, there's more by way of leisure activities. Society's been fairly well established, and you know, you don't have to worry about uh, you know those damn peasants and their pitchforks and being mad that you're sitting in your castle eating um, roasted um, leg of lamb and taking one bite and throwing it behind your shoulder like Friar Tuck and Rocket Robin Hood. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. What bothers me is why the Geth were after the Thorian in the first Noah, place. that changes everything. Well, it does 1700s, have no question. question. Abilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. <laughs> I would be, I would be a hero if that were the case. I would have gone down in history as perhaps the greatest man who ever lived. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. 
I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. You'd rather let an elderly person take your seat on a metro full of people? Would you rather never let an elderly person take your seat on a metro full of people? Or do anything remotely altruistic for elderly people in general? Or to always lose all of your stamina halfway through your poo poo time? What the hell? I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I think this might be the first time that I refuse to engage with a hypothetical simply because I have no idea what I'm even choosing. And I, I don't use the metro ever. There's no metro. No metro for me. Oh, we gotta go back to the refugee camp now? That's, uh... Okay, well. If you insist. <laughs> Anti-public transportation. Well, yes, but that has nothing to do with why. I get in, I get in my, uh, my Ford F-350 to drive to the mailbox at the end of our driveway. Just to prove a point. I don't have a F-350, but if I did, you could pretty much imagine how often I would use it just to... Gub it in the face of buslets. Every thousand miles, I get a new car, correct? Patrons, please dig deep into your hearts and your wallets because my car just hit the thousand mile mark. It's on its last legs. And, uh, I need a new one. The neighbors have all seen me driving the other one. Silent Shepherd. Don't worry, Elizabeth. This is normal. We'll, we'll get there. Stop! Stop! They're over. He's here, said the duh. On my way. An argument. Don't worry. I'll mediate. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up! Uh, let me think! What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! <sighs> Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogenic database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. Oh, there's a reason. Not this time, Jean. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, John. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Hey, yes, the renegade option. More valuable than lives. Are you going to tell them about the Thorian, or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus' hope. 
It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, John. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You're a bean counter, John. <laughs> Owned. I'm a Owned. Spectre. Tell me, how good are those odds? Strong <laughs> destroyed <laughs> bean crap. counter. There any human specters. Oof. There's no coming back from this. Is Hang up your really hat. a chance you're willing to take, John? Exogeny will send more assayers. They'll know what happened. Tell them Shut up, bean boy. Historian. Yeah, but the infected colonists can't be here when the company men come. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. Anything hostile will be eliminated. There has to be another way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Renegade plus 27. Whoa. Got a load of this. Master assassination. I'm still not really clear on the mechanics of first aid, but we'll figure it out together. hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me i've got a bit of a problem everybody wants some. oh wait i already had this exact conversation all right just remember there's money to be made if you want it it just get back to shoes help okay may want to speak to juliana huh glad you've decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. Explain quickly. Give one minute. <laughs> Why? Why wouldn't you just give her as long as it takes to understand? I'm not stopping to ask them to breathe deeply. How can it hurt to try? Please, Commander. These are our friends. <laughs> Guidance like, don't do it, Commander. Your instincts are always right, boss. <laughs> I'm not doing it. <laughs> At least take the grenades, so you have the option. My men will keep everyone safe here. If we're going, it should be soon. Well, we'll stay out of your way until you. Unfortunately, Shepard isn't built for uh, good deeds. Ever thought of making her a cult all, every day, in fact? Working on it. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> all right. Don't worry. I'll take care of those colonists. Winks at the person who just gave me gas grenades. Thing's really tough to drive, you gotta believe me, guys. Unscathed. Zap Brannigan alignment. <laughs> exactly. Very well said. Now it gets 
and runs like Shepard. What is that? There's no way that's human. Infection or not. I want a clean sweep. Nothing hostile lives to take a second shot. <laughs> we did acquire nerve grenades from Dr. Bain. Do you want us to use them? We don't have time to waste on these people. There's a galaxy at stake. <laughs> Very well, Commander. If that's what you want. I'm glad you guys understand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> it's just demolition derbying with the colonists. <laughs> 12, oh man. Shepard's personal challenge. Come on, guys, I'm leaving it to you. You got this. Beautiful. Never over. Oh, some guy got left outside? Kill it. They drew first blood. We all saw it. Late tribute to this YouTube. Thanks, Chikai Toma. I can finally enjoy the rest of my stream without wondering what's going on. The world makes sense again. Apparently, I'm 1700s uh, royalty now. There was something, there was, it's not just an infection, there was something personal in that one. Something distinctly anti-Shepherd in the way she said that. that Shepard uses grenades anyway so there was no real reason to not use the nerve ones aside from just being an obstinate psychopath
These people trust me. It wants me to stop you, but I won't. Renegade option. Renegade option. Damn. Beat me to it. Shepard looks legitimately pissed that he didn't get to take that shot. Zero colonists alive. We did it. We saved the colony. Time to head back to the Normandy. Avoid killing the colony. Hold on now. That wasn't the agreement. I, I specifically said I wouldn't do that. Well, not sure what to uh, do now, but think about what I've done. Oh, right, the hole in the ground. Somebody turn your cell phone off. I'm trying to remember all of the innocents that I've slain today. Renegade plus 32. We're getting up there. <laughs> An unstoppable force of nature. Okay, by the numbers. We just need to find... Well, that's just great. Shepard has a way of understating the situation. Ever simple, is it? Release it. Let it go. It's innocent. Invaders. Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as... This is, uh... Good only to dig or decompose. Kind of the I same exact thing as the Arachni. As I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their mind. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across <laughs> the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your blood will feed the ground. That's called brute forcing your way through the encounter. This guy sucks. a nice sound effect that's a start we'll bring it down yet Shepard please
or angry as sorry. I'm shaking in my shoes. For the colonists. Clear. Remember the innocent colonists lost in the crossfire. Raikou. Shepard's always been more of a sweet coon there. Is the UI referred to this creep? I think that the ones we wanted to save were the named colonists back at Zoo's Hope. I think these ones are fair game. Send help. Like if Left for Dead was uh, less fun. Oh, look. It looks like a fun room oh, yeah. there, too. You're tired for this? I could have gone the rest of my life without knowing that that was a regular thing that occurred. Smasher pass Shepherd? Pass. Why is it even a question? <laughs> Have you seen this guy? <laughs> Unless you activate helmet on mode, close your eyes and picture literally anybody else. Helmet on, hair down, lights on, lights off, hair up, glasses on, helmet up. You'd think so, but... is unstoppable.
Unity. I wish that it was over. <laughs> and catch me. Uh oh, she caught me. <laughs> yeah, I know it will. I know. I saw you posting at like four o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that you didn't have a good sleep. <clears throat> you just lay your tired little head down. Everything will be perfectly fine. Yeah, it's the whole section again. It's the whole section. Oh, it looks like I can't save in between. should have picked uh, give me a story mode instead of give me deus ex shepherd must die mode just how everybody who's met shepherd so far in this playthrough feels Simp. Bros, are we not allowed to simp for our girlfriends anymore? Is it over? Man, this is like a very intense duel. Oh, I'm stuck. She I'm not. Okay, all right. I was Shepard was hit a mind of its own there. This part, this was pretty cool last time, and probably be pretty cool this time. These sound effects are becoming a little overbearing, I have to admit. No, 
No, not you. All right, everybody. I want you to use your best abilities, which by the looks of it won't be great. Excellent. Okay, still no save, gotcha. Well, it doesn't hurt to look. Hurts a little bit. Listen, if you can't learn to appreciate the jank, then I find you to be sick. And you should take a long walk on the short pier. Me? I can really appreciate the jank. My controller disconnected for some reason. Okay, I guess I'm using keyboard and mouse till we get to the bottom of this. I have no idea what the buttons do. Oh, there we go. Controller's working again. Oh, thank goodness. Barrier, yeah, that'll be a big help. Yeah, I've had enough of the jank. The jank sucks. I take it back. You'd be surprised. Oh, save. Oh man, okay. My goodness. Ah yes. For the spot of my doom last time. Now let's all run back for some frosty chocolate milkshakes. Good work, Kaiden. Take the fight to the enemy, that's what I always say. Berserker mode. No wait, no, don't throw that. Oh, should kind of work. Troll on a live stream? Probably just a regular Silvar. He's welcome here anytime. See you, Jesse. Thanks for stopping by. Ah, he's still here. Silvar. Oh, what a pleasant surprise. Sure, you do you do kind of like I'm free. soften the blow. I, you're tired. I suppose I should thank you for releasing the me. fact that you're too tired for this for real and still here goes to show how much you truly love the stream. 
How do I know this isn't some kind of trick? This is no trick. The Thorian is dead, and I am myself again. My name is Shia. Sounds like a trick to me. I, serve, I, I don't like I tricks. Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. Quit making excuses. But they're good excuses, though. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch <laughs> Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength... Oh, of course I've had people piss me off on a stream. You're all pissing me off. To manipulate I'm pissed off right now. Plan I'm just really good at hiding it. Yeah, I mean, some people are... Don't know how to act. For some reason. But, whatever. It is what it is. It's the internet. What are you gonna do? There's no way you can avoid it. Asari matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. Quit making excuses. My biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn. You still did it at Saren the end of the day. Me trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. Yeah, served That's you right. That's what you right. get for trusting Saren. Saren is quick to betray <laughs> it's his It's like he's not even listening to what allies. she's saying. <laughs> Once he had what he needed, he ordered his geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren I hope you learned a valuable lesson. <laughs> he knows you're following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. You must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. <laughs> Enough mystic crap. I've had it up to here with your pinko bullshit. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the cipher? <laughs> Shakes her. <laughs> the cipher is the very. It's the most the emotion Thorian. I've heard Shepard show yet. Or explained. <laughs> it would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic <clears throat> ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sensed Oh, more mumbo jumbo poppycock. When I melded with the Thorian, our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught. It simply exists. <laughs> you gave it to Sarah, the belaboring the point <laughs> that he's you not listening Sarah, to the you can teach defense me. of. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from <clears throat> my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. No, no. <laughs> Don't even try this with me. One to another. Every action Meditation invites meditate. demons into the soul, and God knows Shepard has quite enough of those. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. <laughs> Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity. This is just what Shepard dreams of every night. This is a normal vision for Shepard. <laughs> Yeah, what about it? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I've seen a future seen that I've never wanted more. Just as it was given to Saren, the ancestral I've been delighted the by the things that you've shown me. What just happened? Are you okay? All I saw were more weird visions. 
It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. He sounded so like like a kid who was angry. It still didn't make sense. You look pretty rough. We should get you back to the ship. I'm sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. Why would she show you all of that if she was? Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow me, I don't like I that. Like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. <laughs> you change sides too often. I have no choice. <laughs> you must die. So be it. This is this the fate you feel I deserve? Bioware morality is my favorite. Resist. Tie her up. We're gonna throw her on the train tracks. Wow. You, with that gunshot, it's got this distant to sound to it. A few. It's more than most would have done. <clears throat> anyway, thanks. We'll start again. Medal of Heroism is the name of the achievement I just unlocked. I don't uh, necessarily agree with that. <laughs> Oh, Treaky, you're... Wait, you're leaving? Oh. Generate your mom. Okay, that's fair enough. I'll allow it. Say hi to your mother for me. Well... Certainly not in a worse state than when I got here. Those with the clues, brothers. Oh no. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to hear. Time to go to Vermeer. And I'm bringing Rex because Krogans and Salarians get along famously. Evan Townsend did ambient music for Fallout Brotherhood of Steel? That can't be true. You're lying to me right now, sanity. Don't test me. Fatigued. It's been a long day. It's time for a nap. <laughs> Good one, now. For, thank you for backing me up. Me and Trent Reznor both worked on that game. Okay, now you're. This is too. You know, this lie was almost believable, but then you had to go and add Trent into the mix. You look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? The camera. <laughs> Could you imagine being in the situation where you ask somebody that? Somebody who looks like this? And they didn't even look at you? And they just sat there in silence for like two minutes? Instead of saying anything? brain's been scrambled like an egg how do you think i feel i might be able to he was cooking that up the whole time he needed a chance to think about what he was going to retort we can make some sense of it. nobody's messing with my head anymore i'm sick of dealing with these visions i understand your reluctance commander but the visions are already there i only want to have grumpy shepherd is so funny it may be the only way to stop Saren. Make it fast. Time's a wasting. <laughs> oh, another vision. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Nice. Makes a lot more sense the second time around. That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. 
I never imagined the experience would be so intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. I am a greater oh, mind. What did you see? The beacon on the oh, must is that a little vision. jealousy that I Large detect? Parts of the vision are, are missing. The data transferred into the commander's mind is <laughs> incomplete. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. <laughs> I think my knowledge no, it was of pointless. will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren About 90 IQ points. Information. Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. You're remarkably weak-willed. Exhausting. Lock yourself in the brig. I should go to We're the leaving. And lie down for a moment. Didn't tire me out. Also, my dad could beat your mom in an arm wrestle. Are you sure it was the joining? I feel fine. <laughs> your role in our communion is passive. I am the one who must submerge myself no, it wasn't. in my mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining, Commander. A strong personality like yours makes it even harder. <laughs> We're done here. Strong personality camera angle. I sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the council? All right. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Commander. Exogeny should have told us about the Thorian. It would have made your job much easier. And we might have been able to capture it for study instead of destroying it. The only reason to study a creature like that is to figure out how to kill it. Yes, kill it. That's how you humans usually deal with things you don't understand. Goodbye, Counselor. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. We lost that connection. Based. Joker is such a bro. Willing to side with this horrible, horrible man. All right, Vermeyer time. <laughs> you your clock? No, it's fine. It's it's fun. I enjoy them. You're very creative. I I gotta give you that. We'll see you next time, hopefully. Here we go, murdering again. <laughs> and you don't see me. Go ahead. Anything you need, Commander? We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? <laughs> you came all the way down here just to tell me that? Joker, I'm in one of the elevators. Come find me. So, we've got Saren on the run. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. <laughs> good? He's rotten. To the core. If I you find this Shep relatable, I, him. I advise you seek psychiatric assistance as soon as humanly possible. I don't really care, Rex. <laughs> what? I wasn't even like a renegade option. <laughs> Commander? Do you have a few minutes to talk one on one? Sure. I was just watching some mail from home. Oh, before I go, we saw Caden in a news vid about the Normandy. He's cute. Later, sis. <laughs> Let's pretend this never happened. <laughs> Jealous. Shepard doesn't like that at all. Kaiden. Hmm. I heard it. I don't need to tell you it's inappropriate to gossip about how cute your superior officers are. It won't happen again. And, uh, <clears throat> I have no interest in the lieutenant. Do you have a few minutes to talk one-on-one? <laughs> this guy's expert I'm sorry, in navigating the rocky shores of a conversation. More later, though. Do you have a few minutes to talk <laughs> I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I didn't mind talking more later, though. What's your opinion on the last mission? We lost a lot of the colonists. 
I don't see how we could have done more, but I still... Well, we could have used the non-lethal grenades like we were instructed to, for one thing. Dismissed, Chief. <clears throat> Sir. She's got a big crush on me. Commander, how are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Watch right in. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. I need to go. So long, Garrison. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goodbye, Commander. Oh, poor Garrus. Commander. Okay, okay, let's hear him. Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? <laughs> hmm. That's uh. a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? <laughs> Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. He's not impressed that you're going after Saren? My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient, too worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger for the same reason. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I get that a lot. Spoken like a true CSEC officer. Yeah, it's his <clears throat> job one too many times. But Saren's not going to play by our rules. C-sex rules. He might if we ask. Baron, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. You're a quick learner, Garrus. We'll beat him at his own game. It's the only way to stop someone like him. I'm right behind you, Commander. Yeah, it's pretty it is pretty flat. It would be maybe you like lie down inside of it to control it. Like a big coffin. What's your problem? <laughs> Never mind. It's nothing. I'll be fine. <laughs> I didn't mean to snap at you. What's wrong? With you? <laughs> what did she even do that? Why would he react amazing. like that? She didn't even say anything. To me, especially your chief engineer. <laughs> but I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? Okay, well, that's several people have confirmed that Devin Townsend is, in fact, a composer for Follow Brotherhood of Steel. That's very interesting. I didn't know that. I thought I was pretty damn familiar with his uh, body of work, but that slipped between the cracks. There you go. Now I love Follow Brotherhood of Steel. You'll get used to it. But it's more than just a silence. The <laughs> ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. I need my crew to be in top form. I can't have you daydreaming about going home. Yeah, God Those forbid a soldier I know what's at stake. in a like we don't stop dire fighting, situation I don't have home think about going I'll be home. Ready when you need me. I should go. See you later. Appreciate that, Clifton. I will be quoted. I, I'm okay with being quoted that way, but you have to do it in context with the Devon Townsend part. I can't imagine physical copies of Brotherhood of Steel are all that expensive. What was that game? It was like. Was that an exclusive to, like, the original Xbox? <clears throat> Alright. Well, now that the crew is all nice and happy... Um, touchdown.
acid shotgun all right rory i'll take that into consideration thank you very much and yes welcome infamous uh you just missed shepherd being a hero and saving uncountable lives and being humble and acting in self-sacrifice and all around uh being a stand-up guy and that's the end of that conversation Okay, let's see here. Um, what would we probably want? Biotic? No, it's, it is Geth in this level, isn't it? Oh. Oh, I don't know. I think Tali, even though she's gonna get her ass kicked. Commander, I'm reading a signal. Must be our Solarian infiltration team. Check out those defense towers. Drop the Mako. We'll go in hot and take them out. I'll get you in underneath their radar, Commander. Wherever Shepard goes is always going in hot. Stay out of range and continue I'm sorry to anyone who's never been in the stream who just came in and this is your first exposure to Shepard. That's kind of like a jump scare. All right. Table the A A tower. I'm gonna be honest, I gotta pee again. I've had too much water, so I'll be right back and no, you will not be able to listen in.
All right, cease whatever conversation was just being had. I'm back. And I got a new sparkling water and it says not a product of genetic engineering on the back. Which is, it's good. It's Krogan approved. And I'm just sitting here wondering why would my water be a product of genetic engineering? Too tired aren't you ready for bed yet isn't it time to go to sleep oh man i drove right into those i've got a bit of a knack for that did it team we've been hit by every missile in the entire level hey what's up jim <clears throat> 28 hours yeah that's that's too much is this like insomnia or is there a reason that you're putting yourself through this Yeah, I'm at the I'm at the point where I I cannot when I pull an all-nighter now I can feel myself losing I can feel my age expectancy uh, lowering or my life expectancy rather I guess that's what an age expectancy is I can feel myself like dying I don't really know how to describe it but there's like bodily mentally something something is permanently lost with an all-nighter I'm, I'm thankful that it's so much easier for me to fall asleep now I used to have a really hard time like actually getting to sleep and s staying asleep too now most of the time I go through like periods of kind of like brief insomnia but I'm it's a lot better now oh man this is a hard decryption oh I would have had it Shepherd. I hate this hacking bullshit. It's time to use some numb Joe. Oh man, I haven't even used I got so much equipment. Didn't even check to see what I got going on here. Oh man, this gun's got Shepherd all over it. What was the what what did we want chemical rounds that was what uh, was recommended to me Let's see chemical rounds on a shotgun maybe
I've heard magnesium helps a lot of people with uh, insomnia. When it comes to supplements like that, with a few exceptions, I feel like I almost never notice, like, a discernible difference pr from pre-supplement. Yeah, there's like a Kenny versus Spenny episode where it's like the first one to fall asleep loses. And they talk about how you start getting like, like auditory hallucinations. Like that's almost sort of like the first truly weird thing that starts happening. And I've had that before where I've been dead tired and lying in bed. And then all of a sudden I'll hear somebody say my name or something and I'll like open my eyes. It's like when you're almost asleep, but not quite there yet. I'll snap awake. Sometimes I'll almost feel like physical sensations. I'll feel like I'm tripping and that'll like jolt me awake and stuff. <clears throat> Over three days is crazy though. guys up. This is one of those games where an, like, optimize equipment or current character button would probably... I find myself using that a lot while playing Unicorn Overlord. Where you the game basically has like a gambit system like ff12 but it's like a tactical rpg so there's like so many more characters and stuff but i'm just like i just no longer have it in me to like go through each of my characters and optimize tactics for like 25 different playable units in between every single battle i just go for i just go for optimize we're in tet mode let's go that's right <clears throat> Oh, I guess, I don't know why I'm hooking him up with these chemical rounds. I think he uses the pistol all that much. Uh, Tali uses the pistol. Okay, where's Toxie the Toxic Crusader? It's organics, chemical rounds, there we go. And one more for good measure. I'm putting basically all of my uh, faith into like that one passing comment somebody made about um, about using chemical rounds in this level. Oh man, this is significantly better. Oh, and he looks really cool now too. Cool Shepherd? Oof. I think so. Oh, I think. What did I even choose? One plus one hundred shields. Nice. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. And uh, a save. You drip. Respect the drip. <clears throat> yeah, I found that as well, Vimbert, which I'm actually grateful for. Like, I like having units together. Like, I know you, you, your units gain, like, relationship 
levels or whatever by like fighting together and there's a lot of ways to do it outside of combat but i just like i don't know i, I like having units together to me that like synergize in my mind even if it's not like a perfect combo and the game is pretty forgiving about not having to like totally optimize your unit setup i'm sure on like the harder difficulties it's totally different but that would be why i am playing on normal Appreciate you, Mike. You're somebody to me. <clears throat> yeah, this is the first Mass Effect. It's the remastered version they released a couple of years ago. Knucklehead is like renegade and like anytime there's a choice that is like incompetent or otherwise wouldn't be made under any kind of like rational circumstances, I choose that one. Okay, Dread, you know what? I think you've had enough. I think you've got chores to do right now, so it's time for you to leave the stream, all right? speed runs the right way of putting it but i guess it's kind of like that yeah any percent any speed I hope you've cooled down. I promise I won't be cooled down by then. Maybe you should go for two walks. Oh man, I hope there's another puzzle here Where I have to move plates from one table to another I'm reading that the grid is down, Commander There we go, I figured it out Wait a minute, that card Can you have both people die in the in the mission? I thought you had to choose. Can you actually make it so nobody? I there's no way. I feel like I would have known about that. Hi, Cho. 
Okay, well, if you want to come up, then you have to come up. You can't just sit there screaming and expect yourself to magically appear. I'm such an idiot. You know that? Come up then. Give Cho a mic. I will if he shows up. He just walked away. He stood there waiting to come up and then just walked away. Whatever. <sighs> he'd be a he'd be a very bad part, but I still would have been happy to have him. Thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. Uh wait, no, not AI hacking. Are you kidding me? He just walked back. Why? What do you want? Then come up. I'm inviting you up. This is your home. What are you too good for your home now? Looking at me with that one eye. That's it. Nothing between us and the Solarian camp now. I wish you would have said that with less bloodthirst. There. Oh, look, just in time for death. Don't kiss me on the lips. Everyone's gonna make fun of us. The world isn't ready to accept us yet, Cho. Let him play instead. Well, if he starts walking on my keyboard like it looks like he's about to, you might see your wish come true. sec so busy looking at Cho trying to get a read on what was going on all right now this in fact I was originally going the right way the cat called no I'm sorry Joe I didn't mean to get your hopes up I can't say it's Cho it's short for chosen one our, our cats when we first got them uh or rather when my girlfriend got them I'm not sure we were yeah we through dating, but I don't think we live together yet. She named them Betty and Chosen One. Uh, uh, what was the name of this movie? Kung, Kung Pao, Enter the Fist, I think. I don't know. I'm sure somebody in chat will be able to verify that. <laughs> but anyway, it's one of her favorites, so that's where the name comes from. So what are we supposed to do now? Good taste, good Stay movie. Now you have to stream it. With a plan. That, that's the rule. It's like hearing the words Deus Ex, and you have to reinstall it. Somebody mentions uh, Kung Pao, and you have to stream it. Are you in charge here? What's the situation? I'm Captain Kirahi, 3rd Infiltration Regiment, STG. You and your crew have just landed Kirahi. in the middle of a hot zone. Every AA I wish he was voiced by David Schwimmer. I feel like he'd be a great Solarian. Here's your company. Get your gear in order. 
going up Curie again. That's just great. What now? We stay put until the council sends the reinforcements we requested. We are the reinforcements. What? You're all they sent? I told the council to send up three of the most handsome boys you've ever seen. We couldn't understand your transmission. They sent me to investigate. That is a repetition of our task. I lost half my men investigating this place. So what have you found? Saren's base of operations. He set up a research facility here, but it's crawling with Geth and very well fortified. What's Saren researching? He's using the facility to breed an army of Krogan. How is that possible? Apparently, Saren has discovered a cure for the Genophage. The Geth are bad enough. But a Krogan army, he'd be almost unstoppable. Exactly. I'm sorry for Rex. We must ensure that this facility. But this is a knucklehead run. Destroyed. destroyed? I don't think so. Our people are dying. This cure can save them. If that cure leaves this planet, With that much Krogan testosterone. We can't make the same mistake. It's true. Again. He became increasingly unpredictable when he was cycling on test. And unfortunately, it looks like the finasteride is not doing its job. Don't worry about it, Captain. I do worry. That's why I'm still alive. Why don't you go talk to the Krogan? My men and I need some time to come up with a new plan of attack. In the meantime, uncanny supplies, is a good way of putting it. Rentola. He's in one of the tents nearby. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Which is why, even though looks I've been like playing for a total of ten yeah. hours, I wouldn't be so worried since last stream started. It looks like he's gonna blow a gasket. I, I still often just have to laugh at like basic lines of dialogue. It's the shepherd in this context is the gift that keeps on giving. Enough about just this. drop it. He'll be fine. If you say so, but I'm gonna keep my eye on him. If it's all the same to you. Punch he's on my side, Dredd. We have a thing going on, we have a communication going on. I just need a few more minutes with my men. I've been on this mission far too long. My brood won't even recognize me. This isn't right, Shepard. If there's a cure for the genophage, we can't destroy it. Oh man, is this the best line? I he, I know he's not gonna say it because it always changes. But I wish that you could say this to every single conversation in the game. This is that's how much I love this line. This has to be done. Saren's not my problem. Not me. <laughs> Moves on. Really? Saren created a cure for my people. You want to destroy it. Help me out here, Shepard. The lines between friend and foe are getting a little blurry from where I stand. I don't care what your personal feelings are. This base gets destroyed. Don't push me, Shepard. I followed you because I wanted to fight for something more than credits. If you can't give me a better reason than this to destroy the hopes of my people, then I'm done with you. All you need to know is that I'm giving you an order to fall in line. That's it. All this time, and that's all I get from you. How can you? We've only done like two missions this together. Means to the Krogan. This base can't be destroyed. I won't allow it. See, being an asshole Sarah pays off. Care about these Krogan? They're tools, puppets. You'll destroy them as soon as they're no longer useful to you. Is that what you want for your people? <laughs> I hate it when the achievement like reveals what you did before the game does. <laughs> Thank us for wiping out the Rachni. They neutered us all. I doubt it. Saren will be. It's like when you see a dash mid word in subtitles and you know that the character is going to get killed before it actually happens right, in a movie. Shepard, you've made your point. I don't like this, but I trust you enough to follow your lead. Crisis averted. Just one thing. When we find Saren, I want his head. And I want it on my wall. Your ability to calm the Krogan is impressive. I was hoping he'd shoot first. Uh, I think I got some stuff recently. Nothing like going through items. I really got to turn a whole bunch of these into Omni Gel. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a 
big upgrade. You better believe it. Sweet. No tech biotic protection, but higher shields. Hmm. Let's see what it looks like, first of all. Oh, this is the shepherd that I've been waiting for. Dark Shepherd, embrace the Doom Shepherd. Subway servers. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do that next stream. I'm gonna have a, uh, I'm gonna have a like an OBS one of one of my keys. It's gonna like automatically bring up Subway Surfers on the screen. <clears throat> Dark Shepherd. Man, get a load of this guy. I don't know if there's a point where you're like forced to play as certain party members. I'm a little nervous to turn everything into Omni Gel that I'm not like using. Oh, right. I don't have anybody in my squad right now. That would be why. Prepare your team for the assault. All right. I'll prepare him. Nice work with him. It won't be an easy fight. Be Solarian. Just say the word. Good I'm talk. Ready. Normally I wouldn't think much of Solarians in a firefight, but these two seem well trained. Thank you for speaking with the Krogan. The assault on Saren's base will be difficult enough as it is. Oh, what's up, Gingy? Thank you. Good to see you again, and goodbye. And see you later, maybe. I assume that means you've come up with a plan. Of sorts. We can convert Anyone our know what Rex is short for? Yeah, it's uh, Rexella. It's his full name. Nice. Rexella Divine. Drop that nuke from orbit, and Saren can kiss his Turian ass goodbye. Unfortunately, the facility is too mm, well A little too much venom in you saying the word we'll Turian the there. Location. Where do we take the nuke, and how do we get there? The bomb must be taken to the far side of the facility. Your ship can drop it off, but we'll need to infiltrate the base, disable the AA guns, and pacify any ground forces first. You want us to go in on foot? We don't have enough men. Good. I prefer a straight fight anyway. <laughs> it won't be that Caution simple. Caution to the wind. We just don't have the numbers to meet them head on. I'm going to divide my men into three teams and hit the front of the facility. While we've got their attention, you can sneak your shadow team in the back. I just hope you survive long enough to be useful. <laughs> We're tougher than we look, Commander. But it's true. I don't expect many of us will make it out alive. And that makes what I'm going to ask even more difficult. I need one of your men to accompany me. To help coordinate the teams. We'll need someone who knows Alliance but communication. The first non-renegade decision. Team, Commander. Not so fast, LT. Commander Shepard will need you to arm the nuke. I'll go with the Solarians. With all due respect, Gunnery Chief, it's not your place to decide. Why is it that whenever someone says, with all due respect, they really mean kiss my ass? This is my decision, not yours. Either of these two will do, Commander. I will both. both seem willing to sacrifice their lives if necessary. Though if we are lucky, such sacrifices won't be required. William, you'll accompany the captain. No heroics, understood? <laughs> aye, aye, Commander. Good luck. I will have the ordinance loaded onto the Normandy and brief your crew on its detonation sequencing. Do you have any questions before we go, Commander? Let's do this. Excellent. Then if you'll excuse me, I need to prepare my men. Well, this is it. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone, LT. You too, Commander. <laughs> we'll be fine. What, we'll you think see. I'm gonna do something yeah, stupid? Just... Is that it? Good luck. It's a dangerous situation. Keep your eyes open and be ready for anything. You bet, Commander. You all know the mission and what is at stake. I have uh, come should've let Shepard give the speech. Life, but I have also heard murmurs of discontent. I share your concerns. He's way better at riling the troops up. Espionage. We would be legends, but the records are sealed. Glorying in battle is not our way. Think of our heroes. A silent step who defeated a nation with a single shot. Or the ever alert who kept armies at bay with hidden bats. These giants do not seem to give us solace here, but they are not all that we are. Before the network, there was the fleet. An actor who looked like Before me or an actor who looked like Shepard? soldiers. 
Either way, you can't go wrong. Our Handsome no matter what. Arachni, but before that, we held the line. Our influence stopped the Krogan, but before that, we held the line. Our influence will stop Saren. In the battle today, we will hold the line. Boo. Boo. Good luck, Commander. I hope we will meet again. <laughs> Troops glitching out in the back. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Base crawling with Geth. It'll be a Rex and Tally moment. Oh, I could bring Garrus. I don't really need biotic strength, actually. I don't think. Let's do Garrus and Tally. Com check. Do you read me, Commander? Oh, can't scare me like that. Loud and clear. Good. We'll start our push. We'll try to make it to the AA guns, but it might be up to you to finish the job. And Commander, if you see any way to undermine their defenses, we could definitely use the help. Okay. Hook them up. Oh yeah, Garrus already has some nice stuff. I think I specifically actually equipped them already. Shadow is on the ground. Repeat, shadow is on the ground. I don't know what that means. Speak, Speak English. English. Shepard don't know. mouse mode. Got it. Alright, you guys are doing a bad job. Do I have to do everything myself? I can't believe that sort of worked. <laughs> panic, panic. <laughs> Sabotage. Sabotage. Uh, overload. Alright, I'll do it. That's right, we're on Vermeer. Somehow bungled my way into keeping Rex alive. It's an interesting choice of sound effect when you accomplish an objective. <sighs> and now there's nothing left to do but make sure that Caden and Ashley both make it out of here just fine. And that is what's gonna happen. Okay. Westerly. Something scrambled. They're targeting. We got a shot. Chief Williams, take the heat off Manavai. <clears throat> oh, everybody's favorite song's back on.
damn. I don't mean to laugh at your message, Power Force, but if I don't, I might cry. But at least, at least you got Dragon's Dogma too. It's a good song, but it's no penis music. What did he mean by this? Oh, we should have brought a biotic specialist. Why did you guys talk me into this? We got him on the ropes. Oh no. <laughs> eh. His arm is broken in six different places, but he's fine. <clears throat> Feel free. No, I'm pro I can't tell you how little I want to Google what you had just said. Aircraft heading for river station. I can see you. You're not very good at hiding. Let's see. Uh, there's a right way here. <laughs> I guess I'm missing out. some AI hacking. Please. But did it do anything? I guess I didn't get any of them. Oh, well, that's just great. Oh. Okay, that was pretty effective. Damn, overload's pretty great, huh? supposed to go to the research facility go to the main geth base all right well what is it a research facility or a geth base make up your mind bioware are not the most helpful I can't remember if Mass Effect 2 uh, has the whole thing where you have to like manually make your uh, allies do everything in order for them to come in handy but 
I kind of hope that it doesn't. Or that it's better. Nice crossfade into the same song. Beautifully done. Dynamic music. We've got access to base security. Should be able to cut the alarms from here. Might even be able to trigger alarms on the far side of the base. It'll clear out the guards for us, but it might be too much for the Solarian teams to handle. All th I, I think I'm going to play through to ma the end of Mass Effect 2. I'm not sure if I'll play 3, though. Williams can take a few more. Minimize the guard <laughs> He says with a no. I hope they're ready for this. <laughs> like, understanding of what's going on on the other side of the base at all. Eh, Williams is fine. Help, Shepard, help! She's fine, see? is actually very good against robots. <clears throat> Opinion on Monster Hunter? Well, I haven't really played too much. I've beaten the main game in Monster Hunter uh, Rise and World. And I played through Is someone out there? most of uh, Iceborne as well. And I also bought Monster Hunter 3 on the Nintendo Wii back when it first came out, but I was totally out of my depth, didn't understand it, and ended up getting frustrating. Didn't play too much of it. Um, but it's, it's super fun with friends. Played it in co-op, and it was a really good time. But I never... I know, like, with Monster Hunter, you're supposed to, like, almost treat it like an MMO with how much time you like dedicate to it in the sort of gear hunt aspect and I never got like that far into it um I just don't have like the patience for that type of sort of like get game where you do the same thing so many times for incremental increases and stuff I had fun but like not enough fun to do that for such a long time so probably not much of an authority on it but I did enjoy it. A lot of research facilities in this galaxy that are full of these things and infected uh, innocence, I've noticed. Having ourselves a good old fashioned hoedown. Where are the guards? Where is Sarah? Quiet. Enough questions. Krogan.
if you are finally officially too tired for this now well thanks for thanks for uh chatting too tired for this always a pleasure i hope you wake up and you feel great and you're ready to take on the day You wisely decided it was worth putting yourself through insomnia hell in order to stay here, and I appreciate that. Everybody should have as much dedication. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before it's too late. Everyone in this place is trying to kill me. <laughs> Do I look like a soldier? I'm a neurospecialist, and this job isn't worth dying over. Or worse. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain, too. Give me one reason I should help you. I... I can help you. This elevator behind me goes to Saren's private lab. I can get you in. No sleep... Oh. Full access. All of all right, well, I take it all back. Files. Are we good? Can I go? Good luck staying up for another 28 hours. You deserve to you die. Brutal experiments on helpless test subjects. You helped Saren. You don't get to live. I just did what I was told. I didn't have a choice. I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't help your victims. No, no! Man, that gunshot sound really changes a lot depending on the cutscene. It's not like our shepherd to care about victims, mind you. Silent elevator ride. Let's go. I don't want to talk about what just happened. There's always an elevator ride right after Shepard does something truly heinous. All his teammates are too afraid to say anything about it. Thank you, heavy accent guy. Appreciate you. I enjoy knowing that you enjoy the content. Oh man, oh man. Close those peepers. Shut them close. Put some shades on. I never need to see that precise angle and expression from Shepard ever again. <laughs> he looked angry at it. Guys, you want to talk about what just happened? Saren's experiments have to be stopped. The Salarians are counting on us, Shepard. We can't okay. Them down. Well. Ah, here we go. This is not good. Might be great. You are not Saren. What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. The Reapers you are actually mind, fumbling in pretty, your uh, pretty it terrifying concept. I don't think this is a VI. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Be mean to Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. It's an actual Reaper. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. That's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal. The pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are the end of everything. 
<laughs> Shepard visibly shaking. Whatever your plan is, it's going to fail. I'll make sure of that. Yeah, they're basically... The Reapers are like eldritch robots... Cycle machines cycle. that were built so long ago that nobody understands their fall. origin, at or least as far as I remember. There might be more evolve, hard info advance, about them, but... And at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. Yeah. They didn't They're like a mixture of, like, kind of Lovecraftian horror and, and like, kind of system shocky of my kind. innate fear of, like, AI and, uh, and like biomechanical amalgamations and stuff. Why would you construct the mass relays then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology, by using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it. And you will end because we demand it. That's a good line. Resisting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. Where are the rest of the Reapers? Are you the last of your kind? We are Legion. The time of our return is coming. Our numbers will darken the sky of every world. You cannot escape your doom. It's a, this, when when AI in game says stuff like that. Like we are legion it's extra creepy because it's like it's like an ai so it's trying to choose the most like rational thing to say and it decided to identify with biblical demons you never want your ai to start saying things like that it's like in system shock when shodan says um i am drunk with this vision god the title suits me well it's like to for, for it to like come to that conclusion as an ai makes the line like creepier than it would be normally where did you come from who built you we have no beginning we have no end we are infinite millions of years after your civilization has been eradicated and forgotten we will endure you're not even alive not really you're just a machine and machines can be broken are as empty as your future. You saw right I through me. The vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Commander, <laughs> we got trouble. Great. More problems. Lay it on me, Joker. I love bad news. That I don't think he's being me. facetious. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. Uh, maybe we should rephrase some of these disabled. lines. Orders, Commander. We'll head for the breeding facility. Time to blow this place to hell. Right, Commander. I'll meet you there. Joke around. Oh, yeah, I'm sure Joker's just chomping at the bit to meet me at the breeding facility. And made the thousand yard dash right across that bridge over to me. Again, returning from your position, JSO. Looks like Shadow kicked a sensitive spot. Williams, head them off. Hold them. A sensitive spot at the breeding facility? Don't worry, I'm coming hard. Him off. You know you're still alive. Ow. 
Sally. I love that you want to get close, but please, for the love of God. Whatever. Whatever happens to you, you probably deserve it at this point. No scoping. Excellent work. Our squad moves to get, it's like that episode of Evangelion when uh, uh, Shinji and Asuka are learning to be coordinated and the classical music is playing and they're like two ballet dancers that are of one mind. They couldn't be more in sync. That's what it's like when my squad mates stand in front of me and eat bullets to the back of the head because they refuse to move. It's not really a spoiler. You're safe. Weep, weep. You know what? This channel's bread and butter is mispronouncing Japanese words, and that legacy will never change. So if you have a problem with it, you can take the dog out for another walk and get punched in the face by the dog again. Doesn't matter to me, but you can't stay here. How about a hack? Now we're talking. Brother, why did you do this? Good work on the gun shadow team. Now it's our turn. <laughs> Elevator is fine. A little floating fire. Have you never seen that before? Why does Shepard always have to face them, though, is the thing I don't understand. He did a great job. Got in the robot, he did a great job. That's the entire plot synopsis of Evangelion. <laughs> My talk gave me this black guy. Yes, good. Tell the officer that the dog pushed you down the stairs. Charge set. Everyone bunker down. Bunker down. Me hiding behind the corner in your home. Yes, clumsy fool we are. Oh, all right. Nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Music stopped. No crossfade back in. We're reaching a critical point here. Don't squish me, Joker. What's up, Antoine? Tripped on the dog onto the target. <laughs> What are the odds of all these dog-related mishaps happening? Bomb is in position. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Man, all these options are nice. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make 
sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. No. You keep that nuke safe. I'm scared, Caden. Detonate the nuke. Just detonate it now. Make it snappy. Time to look at the map. Oh no, not the breeding trench. This is Shepard's arch nemesis. You know, it's a little crowded over here, Tally. Oh. Can't do that. Like where Krogan? <laughs> He's too sad to stand. Maybe I'm the real monster. Wasn't abundantly obvious by the decisions that I've been making. There we go. <clears throat> Reinforcements. We better hurry. Heads up, LT. We just All right, right Fenrir. I think we're, you've had a long enough here. break at this There's point. Death. Hold on, Lieutenant. I'm coming back to get <laughs> Make you. Make up your mind. Negative. There's just too many of them. I don't think we can hold them off. I'm activating the bomb. What the hell are you doing, Alenko? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what. <laughs> it's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. See, that's the secret to my success, Screw Dread. That. We can handle I've ourselves. been in my breaking point for the last Lenko. 13 years. Alenko. Radio Joker and tell him to meet us at the bomb site. Yes, Commander. I, I. You know it's the right choice, LT. <laughs> Fight hard, Chief. Die proud. Oh Bye man. Hi, Commander. Well, easy for you to say, Shepard. Oops. Oh man. Oh, perfect. Hold on, let me just kind of rearrange things a little bit. There we go. Okay. Perfect. Something to remember the occasion. We'll burn, okay? Nice. Did she send me that? Or could you? I think I might take this picture into the bushes.
session has been a lot of combat. A lot of combat. I guess Mass Effect is a lot of combat. <laughs> Shepard always dies funny. Oh, you give me a break. Why wouldn't it at least create a checkpoint after having the conversation with Ashley and Kagan? Oh. Team, sacrifice yourself for me. Oh. Consequences for everything. Ooh, let's smarts. I smell you up there. Wait, no. feeling better after reconsidering my decision I have decided that Ashley will still be dying on Vermeer reinforcements we better hurry heads up LT you said it hold on lieutenant Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us. Wait, on the wait, AA wait. Tower. No, no. Yes, Commander. I. It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. Oh, man. I didn't mean to. Shit. I was trying to skip through the dialogue, and it ended up executing order to save Ashley. Stay alive. Oh. I, well, this can't stand, obviously. Hold on. Hold on, Ashley. We're going back to the breeding crans. Just wait a little bit longer. I'm going to be so good at this specific tunnel, though. I'm going to be just ripping and shredding my way through it. All right. I shouldn't have been skipping dialogue. The game taught me a valuable lesson. Okay, I... I I've learned my lesson, it won't happen again. I'll re-listen to the dialogue and make sure that I don't find myself in a situation where I'm accidentally saving Ashley. Feeling better already.
Well. After reconsidering my reconsideration. Reinforcements. We better hurry. All right, all right. It's already here. There's gas pouring. Negative. There's just too many. Okay, no more skipping now. I'm activating the bomb. What? What the hell are you doing, Alenko? Jess is eeping, yes. Just making sure this bomb goes Correct. Off, no matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. <laughs> Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Alenko, radio Joker and yes, tell him to meet us. Commander. I, I. All right. Pro game remove save by the check. <laughs> I thought I, th I thought the scene was so good that I wanted to savor it and and do it again so that like everyone could hear it. You know, great things are meant to be experienced more than one time. Including that conversation on the radio. used a power. Oh, please, hurry. Oh, are they both? Okay, one of them is dead. My powers are not recharging. Oh! It's alright. We gotta save in now. That's kind of a, that's a good question, Infamous. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if you're able to do that. <laughs> that's kind of a funny idea, though. Oh. Came the prime, but I finally did. Big round of applause, please. Oh, no, wait. Hold your applause. Right in the legs. Right in the robo dongus. If you're gonna yell, I won't do it. Sound effects really is getting louder during cutscenes, I've noticed. <laughs> Valiant effort. I applaud you, Shepard. My geth were utterly convinced the Solarians were the real threat. An impressive diversion. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. 
You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. This isn't complicated. You'll do anything to get power. Even joining with the Reapers. You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight. This guy's got a great point. They were utterly destroyed. We should join him. The trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? I'd rather die than live under the rule of those machines. Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives can be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. You're like every other poor bastard in this place. A tool Sovereign can use, then cast aside. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign And they are kind of having the conversation at like a leisurely, becomes, casual audio level. Saving grace. What? The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant subtle i will not let it happen to me i'm not like you i'd rather die fighting than live as a slave i'm not doing this for myself don't you see sovereign will succeed it is inevitable my way is the only way any of us will survive i'm forging an alliance between us and the reapers between organics and machines and in doing so I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do uh -oh. our entire civilization. The music. To complete annihilation. It's back. And for that, we must die. Make it stop. Oh, an epic boss battle that probably didn't autosave because, you know, that's just the kind of luck we have. It's so over. It's never been this over. Oh, okay. That was a good, weird, glitchy cutscene transition. Oh. Shepard's so angry, his eyes are like bulging through his eyelids. <laughs> Don't you float away from me. I'd say you're a sight for sore eyes, but it wouldn't be true. Never forget Saren and the various others. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? Well, see, Shepard, I think, would probably find a way to blame it on Caden, but. We had to leave her behind. Saren has to be stopped at any cost. Why me? Why not her? Lieutenant Alenko, I am your commanding officer. I did what I had to do. Don't question my orders. I'm sorry, Commander. You saved my life. I'm grateful for that. But if I'd done my job, we should have been able to save her. 
Get it together, soldier. <laughs> Ash's blood is on Saren's hands. It's like an immensely you traumatic event occurred several minutes pay. ago, Shepard. Yes, sir. I'm. We'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I might be able to help. Oh, please don't make me watch together. the cutscene again. Nobody's messing with my head anymore. I'm sick of dealing with these visions. I understand <laughs> your reluctance, Commander. But the visions are already there. I only want to help you make sense of them. It may be the only way to stop Saren. Go Looks ahead, like do it, and choice. fine. My favorite three choices. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Yeah, they really uh, wanted you to get a load of this scene more than a few times. The, images would be the cinematography so of my visions is absolutely exquisite. Collect myself. We don't have a moment. Snap out of it. Tell me what you saw. <laughs> it's a distress call. A message <laughs> sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the conduit? There were other images. The pace boosted Locations, deep fried YouTube. Places I recognize from my research. <laughs> Ilos. The conduit is on Ilos. Totally. That the is vision is just fesh pints of Blair. It is the only way to get to Ilos. <laughs> and you find Jeffrey, and you find Jeffrey, and you find Jeffrey. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mew relays inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The conduits on Ilos, that's where Saren is headed. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the council. We need a fleet to. Uh, I don't want to. Uh, the joining is. We'll do it myself. Exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. He always has to brag about he doesn't get tired Are by you it. Sure, it was the joining. Every time. I feel fine. <laughs> Shepard, your we've explained this no less passing. than three times I to you. I'm the one who must submerge myself in your mind, drown myself in your thoughts. It is more difficult than it looks. The human subconscious instinctively resists the joining commander. <laughs> a strong personality like yours makes it even harder. I just need some time to recover. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. Seth Green trying not to wake up his parents when he recorded this line? They're not going to believe any of this. Not without proof. We'd just be wasting our time. Aye, aye, Commander. Sovereign will be sitting on Citadel's roof before those bastards will listen to us. All right, what's up next? Oh, we do have to report to the council. Factually, actually report to the council. <clears throat> Gonna grab another water before we do that. BRB.
I made my water and I'm done. Sorry, it was really hard to get the tab open. The grapefruit was so spicy, I needed to wash it down with another water. It's really quiet inside this ship. I forwarded the mission update to the Citadel, Commander. We got confirmation on those reinforcements. Ambassador Udino wants us to report back to the Citadel. The Council's massing a joint species fleet to deal with Saren and his Geth. Took them long enough. Back to the Citadel, Joker. I want the Normandy at the head of that fleet. Yes, sir. <laughs> it's just two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. It's easy. You guys don't make your own water at home? Good job, Shepard. Thanks to you, the Council's finally taking real action against Saren. The Ambassador is correct. If Saren is foolish enough to attack the Citadel, as you believe, we will be ready for him. Patrols are stationed at every mass relay linking Citadel space to the Terminus systems. That's it. Do you think a blockade's going to stop him? He's on Ilos looking for the conduit right now. What are you doing about that? Ilos is only accessible to the Mule Relay, deep inside the Terminus systems, Commander. If we send a fleet in there, the only possible outcome is full-scale war. Now is the time for discretion, Commander. Saren's greatest weapon was secrecy. Exposed, he is no longer a threat. This is over. Oh, let me guess. They don't believe in the Reapers still. Sovereign's the real threat. Saren's just a servant of the Reapers. Only you have seen the Reapers. And then only in visions. I love how they won't invade the Terminus they're literally the proven system. wrong. Time and time again. And then somehow the minute Shepard has some like new like, hey, this is directly related to what I was warning you about before. They're like, oh, here we go again with Shepard's crazy dream visions. It's like even in even if they were just like if Saren finds the obstinate condom, morons, screwed. there's we like a certain island. point where it's like, OK, this isn't even realistic anymore. Ambassador Udina, I get the sense Commander Shepard isn't willing to let this go. There are serious political implications here, Shepard. Humanity's made great gains thanks to you, but now you're becoming more trouble than you're worth. You bastard! You're selling us out! It's just politics, Commander. You've done your job, now let me do mine. We've locked out all the Normandy's primary systems until further notice you're grounded. Nobody stabs me in the back, Udina. Nobody. <laughs> I think it's time for I am the one who stabs. Uh, this no longer concerns you. The council can handle this with my help, of course. Soulless patch, I missed that. It's <laughs> good. Commander, I've got a message from Captain Anderson. Are you spying on me, Joker? <laughs> no, sir. Just knew you were on the ship and figured I'd pass the message on. It's a weird Captain option in the flux. conversation. That club down in the wards. I've been looking for an excuse to go back there. <clears throat> Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. <laughs> Exo Presley has the deck. We're back. A few warning shots so everybody knows to run. <laughs> Exogeny officials have announced that their research colony on Pharos is. Everyone quiet, I'm listening to this. Difficult living conditions combined with poor yield of viable discoveries made it economically we are. What does yield to keep mean? Going. Exogeny stock rose sharply with the announcement, with investors pleased at this surprising news. You should ever bonging anyone this playthrough? I don't know. I feel like the, most of like the female characters in Mass Effect 1 tend to get kind of turned off by Shepard like being an ass through the entire game but if it's possible i'll try to make it work my thing is that i i when i play mass effect 2 i don't want the crew to be in good m like moral condition by the end of the the game i want them to be very 
demoralized <laughs> and like unwilling to fight for Shepard because I think it will be funny. Well, I'd show that. I mean, it's uh, most of these like Xbox 360 era RPGs tend to just like fade to black and maybe show like kissing. And I mean, like, out of scientific curiosity, I do kind of want to know what Shepard looks like in like a sexy situation. Out of anthropological curiosity. Wait, is there actually there's a fast travel thing up there, maybe? Uh, oh, CSEC offices. Whoa! That... Hmm? A completely wrong direction. I'm ready for my quest. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? I love that I'm wrapping up this loose end from like way earlier I in the game. That was lying, months ago. Lying? Why would I lie to you? You forgot to mention the data about the keeper. Garrus, uh, you weren't even there. He told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care Did of Did they it. forget to put the filter on his voice with that one? I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... you're helping us? But... well, if you say so. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can That's pro I. probably mostly I a matter of animation better. rigging issues would be my guess. Right. In terms of not letting any of the weird races, because I mean, a little dwarf guy running around with me. Deny me that. Uh, what are the. I know, I don't see any fast travel thingies. Want another interview, huh? Huh? Oh, no. That's what I thought. Careful next time you report the news. It can be hazardous to your health. are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. <laughs> the jellyfish guys would be awesome, too. The malfunction. They'd give you some excellent psychological insights on the aliens. That's right. They are afraid of the short kings. They're all afraid. Couldn't believe my eyes when I played Ultima 4 and there was no dwarves. I could have screamed. Oh wait. I remember now. I remember where I was to go. Soldier, I've got a major situation, and I need help from somebody with humanity's interests at heart. <laughs> it's Commander, actually. <laughs> what do you want? Of course, right to business. That's why humanity has the best damn fleet in the galaxy. My name is You're Elias. Damn right. I'm an alliance negotiator. We've got a big session coming up with the Salarians. 
You wouldn't believe what's riding on this. I'm fighting for humanity on this one, just like you are. You're a bean counter. I don't remember seeing you hip deep in Geth back on Eden Prime. <laughs> I'm not on the front lines, but I'm making sure our jobs don't get outsourced to the aliens. I need every edge I can get. Specifically, I need a certain mental stimulant. It's legal, but restricted. I've purchased the monthly limit, and I... Uh, all right, well, have a good uh, shift there. Mike, I probably won't be here when you get back, unless your shift is only, like, 30 minutes long. I'll see what I can do, but it's I can't tricky. guarantee anything. We still I going. Understand. I'll pay you back for it, and I can even throw in a little extra. Thanks for your help. I'm getting I'll sick of Shepard's face, so... His days are numbered, but as of now, we're still going. It's out of my hands, I'm glad you came, Shepard. I heard what happened. You had to know what was going to happen. Why didn't you warn me? <laughs> I tried. The ambassador wouldn't let me get a message through before you docked. I know you're pissed off right now, but you can't give up. They all think this is over, but we both know it's not. You have to go to Islands. You have Elusive to match. Using the conduit. You might be onto something, but I'll never tell. There's only one ship that can get me into the Terminus systems undetected, and she's grounded. Citadel controls locked out all the Normandy systems, but if we override the Ambassador's orders, we can get them to bring the Normandy back online. You can be in the Terminus systems before anyone even knows you're gone. What's the plan? I can unlock the Normandy from one of the consoles in the Citadel control center. I knew no glues number two left. Realizes what happened. That's a restricted area patrolled by armed guards. How are you going to get in? Leave that to me. Oh, just make sure you're in the Tristan, what's the up? Systems come back online. There's got to be a better way. Ambassador Udina issued the lockdown order. There's got if to be a better way. Computer in his office. Maybe I can override it. He will not just infomercial shepherd be like. Computer. Hopefully he won't be. Here. If he is, I'll just have to think of something. The ambassador will not just tell him that his head's on fire and then push him off a cliff. Defense. We don't have a lot of options. I break into the ambassador's computer, or I take my chances with the patrols in Citadel control. Take your chances with the patrols. If you're lucky, the patrols won't catch you. I'll be careful. You ready to get the hell off this station, Commander? Let's do it. I'll take care of the lockdown. You get down to the Normandy it's a good and tell shot here. to stand by. Rule of thirds abided by beautifully. The golden ratio at full mast. I can't believe you can't do the shuffle in this game. Sorry, I'm kind of busy right now. So, uh, what can I do for you? For one thing, you can put your fucking mouth away. What were you discussing with the Volus? Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Dorn before she left to... Ugh, sorry. I don't want to bore you with my problems. I won't pry. Good luck. <laughs> oh, thanks. Alright, let's get on the ship. That's pretty much it. Go to Elos. Andrew Louis CK. <laughs> That's so uncharitable to Louis. <laughs> and yet. <laughs> Wait, no, not for City. Reporter Kalisa Algelani recently attempted to land an interview with Commander Shepard. The first human specter. When pressed on the if there was one tagline for this playthrough. Reportedly lost control and Heavy accent the guy, I think you got it there. We'll have exclusive footage later today. <laughs> All right. Stand by, shore party. Decon We're reaching. Sir, this is a restricted area. Sir, you can't. Oh, can you imagine how your head would be bloody and like raw after headbutting? 
I always forget the name of the race that Garrus is. Why can't I remember the word? Well, whatever. Freeze. In any Back case... Away from the Hands up! Now! It hurt. Oh man, what a true bro. I thought for a split second my brain wasn't fully firing on the scene yet. It looked like Joker was like sitting in his chair reaching up and Shepard was like holding his hand from the above. <laughs> like they were <laughs> a couple waiting for bad news. <laughs> Hold me, Joker. Okay. Tighter. All right, let's go see if I can pep talk some of my squad or if they're all still scared of me. Oh yeah, Turian, thank you. Headbutting a Turian would be a bold move. <laughs> Silent. Anything you need, Commander? I wanted to see how you're dealing with Ash's death. Dealing, sir. Sorry for anything I said back there. Adrenaline. Every one of us is expendable if it accomplishes the mission. Ash, you, even me. I understand. I just he came if you don't mind with good intentions with and said the worst things possible. We accept death when we put on the uniform, Lieutenant. If you can't deal with that, retire. I'm in for the duration, Commander. No worries about that. Nice. We'll talk another time. That's. I'm sure he's feeling better already. Beautifully said, Commander. Yeah, we did. We lost a companion, but it's mandatory, I think. You have to choose somebody. Either Ashley or Caden. Stealing an Alliance ship? Risky stuff. I hope you know what you're doing, Shepard. I'm not as crazy as everyone thinks. <laughs> uh oh, he's Sometimes at the convincing point. The way to go. <laughs> or I am I? They don't catch us before we get our hands on Saren. They won't. I hope you're right. What can you tell me about the Genophage? Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. No. I want you to tell me. I know. It makes breeding impossible thousands die in stillbirth and most never get that far i hope shepherd doesn't Every say something very insensitive and no one's rushing to find a cure what <laughs> another option that should always be available to you in every conversation why don't the krogan try to find a cure when was the last time you saw a krogan scientist you ask a krogan would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credits? He'll choose fighting every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. You can change it. People really die. <laughs> We're sure not getting any stronger. What? Just... We're too spread out. You... None of us are interested. What a question to ask after everything that was system. just said. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. Science doesn't pay the bills. So true. We're warriors. We want Unless you're a scientist. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go Or are you using anything that benefits so from the history of science? Shepherd. That's Shepard's biography he's working on. It's called The History of Science. I we stole the Normandy. Who it's I am and why I do it. We'll be fine, Garrus. Just be ready when we find Saren. Yes, Commander. Wasn't there one more? Oh, yeah, Ashley. Right. 
were fugitives on the run. Very exciting, Shepard. Kiss me, Tally. Kiss me before it's too late. If they catch us, then Saren finds the conduit. Whatever the council's got planned, I guarantee the Reapers will do worse. That doesn't make me feel any better. Let's talk about something else. I want to know more about the guest. I doubt I can tell you anything you don't already know. It's been almost three centuries since they drove my people into exile. All I know is the story of their origins. What they were when we created them, and how they turned on us. <laughs> That's boring. Interesting. <laughs> the Geth were originally created to serve as an Just automated <laughs> manual labor. Shepard picturing Tally's ass. Interesting. It's just this vacant ass. stare. <laughs> Over time, we made small modifications to their programming to allow them to perform more varied and complex tasks, bringing them closer and closer to true AI status. How come the council didn't step in and stop you? This wasn't true AI research. We may have been skirting the bounds of the law, but we never did anything that was actually illegal. Not the like stealing an alliance so ship. So gradual that we were able to control them, or so we thought. But one thing we underestimated was the power of the neural network. A million Geth thinking simultaneously created an inherently unstable matrix. So the Geth share brain power? I feel like in order to be like a, a specter, like a commander in the Alliance military, in any position of authority, understanding the like basics of how AI works should be a prerequisite. So what, it's, they have like intelligence, that, but it's like not real? It's got kind of like artificial so almost is what you're saying. Consciousness. Yes. No, nothing like that. They cannot share yes, Shepard, that's exactly what it is. Their programming cannot handle that much simultaneous input. Each Geth maintains an individual awareness and identity. The neural network only operates on a process-based level. It's basically the synthetic equivalent of a subconscious. Interesting. But when they're in close proximity, they can coordinate low-level functional processes, freeing up more capacity for original or independent thought. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yes. The truth comes that. out. The Geth are incredibly advanced and complex creatures. So you're saying there's a robot or something All out there? to know is that they get smarter when they gather in large numbers. As we built more and more Geth, their effective intelligence became more sophisticated, more abstract. You can ask how the engine Eventually, works. <laughs> a Geth began to ask its overseers. <laughs> All of a sudden, they start getting nervous. <laughs> am I alive? Why am I here? What is my purpose? As you can imagine, <laughs> this caused a near panic among my people. I don't see what's so bad about those questions. The Geth were created to engage in mundane, repetitive, or dangerous manual labor. That's fine for machines, but it won't satisfy a sentient being for long. Could you see Tali's eyes the through Geth her helmet in the original release, or did they just change that for this version? Thought. If the Geth were intelligent, then we were essentially using them as slaves. It was inevitable the newly sentient Geth would rebel against their situation. We knew they would rise up against us. No, so I don't remember first. that. A general order went out across all Quarian controlled systems to permanently deactivate all Geth. The Geth responded to this order by It was your fault. You didn't really think they'd just let you destroy them without a fight, did you? The hope was that most of the Geth would still be little more than machines, incapable of organized resistance. But they had progressed much further than anyone anticipated. The war was long and bloody. Millions upon millions of Quarians died at their hands. In the end, we were forced to flee our own homeworld. We feared the Geth would pursue us, but they never came beyond the veil. Now we I think it was Mass Effect 3 that that, that was the picture, that like stock photo, right? You got what you deserve. Oh, we made a mistake she just said millions of people died, Shepard. But we did not make a mistake. It's going to be a tough we argument to make if we had not that they deserved they that. They're a synthetic life form. They have no use for I believe in karma. None. And I Why stand with the Geth on this issue. The galaxy? Why do you think they've killed every organic being who's ever tried to contact them? 
didn't give them a real good first impression. You really think things would be any different if we waited for them to act first? <laughs> the Geth are not innocent victims in all this. I stand with the robot. The enemy. They want to destroy us. Not just the Quarians. All organic life. That's why they've joined up with Saren. And that's why we have to stop him. I should go. <laughs> I see I've upset see you. you. My work here is done. Um, where is Liara? Oh, right. She's uh, over here. Liara Salami. It's been a while since we've had a one on one. <laughs> Her reaction was appropriate. This will all be over <laughs> soon, Shepard. One way or another. You have no idea how right you are. <laughs> that was a weird talk. This will all be over soon, Shepard. Silently runs away. Uh, put Liara in a capsule and fire her into space. She scared me. She said something scary. Where we're going next. <laughs> it's typically how it goes. Except it got out would be followed by like oh on a half a sentence where it like trails off because they were killed while writing it. The castle of Ah. Why would he write Ah if he was dying? Hope I can deliver at least one more inspiring speech. Ah, uh, Commander, we've got company. Have their sensors picked us up yet? Well, stealth systems are engaged. Unless we get close enough for a visual, they won't have any idea we're here. Picking up some strange readings from the planet's surface. Take us down, Joker. Lock in on the coordinates. Negative on that, Commander. The nearest landing zone's two clicks away. We'll never make it in time. Say it in American. Get us something closer. I don't know what a click there is. There is nowhere closer. I've looked. Drop us in the Mako. You need at least a hundred meters of open terrain to pull off a drop like <laughs> Cloud that. Cloud Strife be like. Near Saren is 20. 20 meters? We'll never get in close enough for a drop. We have to try. Find another landing zone. There is no other landing zone. The descent angle's too steep. It's our only option. It's not an option. It's a suicide run. We don't. I can do it. Thank you guys for arguing Joker. sequentially like I that. Can do it. Gear up and head down to the Mako. Joker, drop us right on top of that bastard. I thought he was requesting to Joker based on the way that sentence was structured. Gear up and get into the Mako. Life stream, live stream for what? For Final Fantasy VII? It was actually the original was one of the games I was considering uh, streaming for a little while. Uh, very good. Could be a good team here.
Yeah, the original you FF7 is... It's remarkable, actually, how well it does stand up, in spite of so many things. It's just such a well-put-together game in so many ways. We have to get inside this bunker before Saren finds the conduit. There's no way we're getting past that door with brute force. Oh, that's, that's good to hear. A lot of people tell me they use my videos to fall asleep. And I always take it as a compliment. I kind of feel that way about, like, GameSack, that channel. That's a definitely, like, if I'm, like, kind of under the covers and I'm just trying to get ready for bed, but I still kind of want to watch something, it's always GameSack. Oh, bye, Fenrir. I hope your break was long enough for you to enjoy the sandwich that you packed yourself. Oh, Thane is an awesome companion. Mass Effect 2 has some great companions, I think. It's also probably a good time to look at some equipment. Nice, that's mine. Uh, that one's mine too. I, I, I've noticed while I'm editing sometimes that I specifically am keeping in mind, I'm like, okay, let's maybe uh, balance the audio a little bit more for that part, just in case somebody is watching this while trying to sleep. So it's had an effect on my editing in some small way. cares about heat absorption if you can't kill an enemy in two seconds you don't deserve to live anyway oh another omni tool man we went from blue wire tool one to chameleon tool eight with, I don't think I found a single one in between those. Sweet. All right, we have got any other, okay, here we go. Nice, new Krogan armor, beautiful. My physics weapons? Okay, that could be fun. Oh! What's up, Oakvale? Thank you very much for the 20 bones. Um, I think I wouldn't arrive. Tally is best girl. Fable fun, $105? I think you're actually underselling it. I think you tend to, like, underestimate how much the Fable fund is at. But, uh, hey, much appreciated. Tally is... Ollie's pretty good. I don't know if I could fully... I'd have to think about it a little bit. I like Miranda in Mass Effect 2. For her personality. Jess is going to watch this VOD. She's going to be so mad when she finds out that... Girls are pretty other than her too. Nice, the Armageddon 7. With polonium rounds, rubber rounds. Wait, never mind, you can only have one at a time. Stick with the polonium then. Weapon stability, probably good. I don't think the scanner is even like what would the what would a squad member even do with a scanner? I don't know what the point would be.
Yeah, don't really know how much he actually even uses sniper rifles. <clears throat> no new quarian armor. Alas, I guess you can buy that stuff at the Citadel. I've kind of been ignoring that. I, I almost never buy things in Mass Effect 1 when I played it. The song is cool. I wish it looped a little better, but it's cool. Why is it? Oh, I swear I pressed A three times and it only now transferred over. Oh, man. Wait, I want tungsten rounds on my sniper rifle. Versus synthetics, yeah. That's who we're fighting. Nice. All right. Can't save. Oh, man, I hope I don't die or I'll be pretty upset. Master Unity. I'm nothing if not a unifier. <laughs> What's up, just a worm? Of course we are. As far as I'm concerned, until the credits roll on Mass Effect 2, the, it's all this Shepard's playthrough. He's taking center stage until we see those credits roll. keep charm as low as humanly possible. What is damping again? So many things to remember. Oh. Shuts down enemy tech abilities. Also does some damage. Hmm. I guess I'll get it just for the hell of it. Shepard's got a few tricks up his sleeve. Uh, we've got some exciting uh, tactical Shepard action in store for the future. We can't die, or we'll have to redo all of that. It wasn't a good decision that I made, but it was a decision. Oh, guys, it's a robot. Robots have the capacity to kill. Uh, let's see here. to overheat actually I'm liking the new assault rifle worst dungeon in the game this is the second separate time I've heard somebody say that today in regards to the dungeon that I've been playing I think it might be accurate to say that Mass Effect just isn't well known for its great dungeons
A Kessler. Okay, there. Choice committed. We're safe. <clears throat> I guess I'll find it. <laughs> that's fair. That's the that's pretty good rationale, actually, Captain. You've done a you've done a good job of stating your case and willing to accept it. Oakvale, thank you for another $5. My girlfriend is wanting to skip playing the first one so she can get to dating Garrett. She loves her pretty boys. Fable Fund, $110. Okay, off the record, it's not $110. It's more than that. But nonetheless, thank you for the other $5. I'm trying to remember uh, I th of the characters that Jess, uh, when I played through Mass Effect a few years ago, she watched the whole thing because she was so, like, interested in the story and the characters and stuff. <clears throat> she loves characters and games. Like, if I'm playing FF7, she doesn't really care if I advance the plot. But if I do, like, the gold saucer date without her watching, then that's, like, a big problem. Um, I, I think... I think she liked Thane quite a bit. Garrus, obviously. Everybody, everybody likes Garrus. How can a guy compete? <clears throat> trying to remember some of the other what is going on with the sound effects right now it's specifically the sound effects something's a little funky about that yes this is Elos was a bit of uh, overlapping sound issues there. Yeah, I feel like if I went back and played the original now, I would be very surprised at how much worse it looks than the remaster. It's it's one of those things where the this remaster now, this is the second time I'm playing it, it's like over overwritten in my head, the original. Well, Mass Effect 2, the original, I think, still looks, like, surprisingly pretty good. It, it cleans up nice. Um, just because it's, I don't know, something about the way that they, like, the, the environments and the lighting, and, like, even the models all, like, they, despite kind of striving for realism, it somehow manages to stand up after 14 years, more than most games of its time. I think, I think the lighting really helps. It's such a neon-soaked game compared to Mass Effect 1. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, it is essentially a RPG corridor shooter hybrid, mostly shooter. But to be fair, I don't know if I would necessarily say having maps like Mass Effect 1, like, is better than that. I prefer, like, open environments with lots of, like, branching paths and 
meaningful distractions and stuff where it's possible, but if the choice is between, like, a map that's, like, basically you're going in one direction and there's occasionally, like, one hallway that you can go down to get one crate with loot in it, it's like, you might as well, um, like, take the mask off at that point. Because in essence, it's the same thing. Sound effects are here. <clears throat> okay, it's most assuredly not meant to be down here. Oop. Yeah, I definitely felt like Mass Effect 2's, like, combat segments, it was pretty well balanced in terms of how much, like, downtime uh, you have and like just like kind of chilling and talking with characters and exploring cities or whatever versus how much time you actually spend shooting I, I don't remember often feeling like okay this section has gone on for far too long it's pretty good about that oh oh this is an elevator Yeah, Mass Effect 2 is cover system. This game has a cover system, but it just like snaps you into cover when it detects that you're near it, which is pretty iffy. Mass Effect 2 has a dedicated like press this button and you will go into cover system. So it's a little bit more like an actual shooter. And I still have not played Andromeda, so I'm not the right person to give you a take, but it looked pretty funny. Okay, hold on, hold on a second here. How about a little AI hacking? It's got to come in handy at least three times before the game is over. Or... I'll feel a sunk cost. Nice. I would say that that qualifies as coming in handy. I haven't played Andromeda. I played a little bit of Dragon Age Inquisition, but I did not, I was not feeling it after the first, I don't know, first several hours. It's like, uh, yeah, I'm not really, not really digging it. Most of the quests I did, I felt were like pretty boring. I remember the game looked nice when it came out. I remember being pretty happy that I was actually able to run it on my computer. But it felt like pretty different from Origins in a lot of ways. I don't know, maybe it gets better. It won, like, Game of the Year that year, like, RPG of the Year or something. Which I don't know if that's, like, a testament to the, the quality of the game or um, a testament to how few RPGs came out in, like, 2014 or whatever. Okay, I guess I can't go down here. What's the... Why is there an elevator up here? Am I supposed to be able to go down? Kind of weird that the map connects this area. Okay. 
I don't know. Nothing is like interactable. No computer, nothing. Okay, that's weird. So I'll go back down. Admittedly, I do not have a great sense of direction in general. And that also goes for levels, everything looks the same. this elevator lead somewhere <clears throat> oh man small talk make small talk you're a big guy this place still has power it must be running off its own generator good work rex way to diffuse the tension in the room troops must have sealed the doors from here after he went inside boost oh that's great can't use any moves now I've been destroyed by the destroyer got a strategy this time ah, it's not working Man, I thought I was invulnerable with that move. Well, you know, they shouldn't call it that. They shouldn't call it immunity if you're not immune. I would love it if the enemies would not spawn. That'd be great. Okay. No. You, AI hacking. And also, overload. Uh-oh. We're in a bad spot here, as you can plainly see.
Goodness gracious. Charging, recharging. Oh, Tali, I just brought you back. Son of a bitch. I can't even pretend like I'm not trying. I'm kind of trying, guys. Kind of trying my best. Fully focused. Okay. This is it. This is going to be the time. Not even on top of anything. Just wait, cancel the throw. Hold it. Is it over? Man, that section gave me a run for my money. I can't lie to you. Alrighty. Wait, maybe it's a friendly robot. Okay. Oh, oh, you can use these to uh fight the enemies for you i think that's cool better late than never i suppose got a head start we have to go find him before he reaches the conduit good plan Unless he's already found it then we're just walking into a trap that's a chance we'll have to take hold on something's happening too late unable to invading fleets no escape sounds like some kind of message but i don't <laughs> recognize the language it's probably english in this recording the must words, be no 50,000 years old. No wonder we can't understand it. The message is all broken up, but I recognize some of the words. It's a warning against the Reaper invasion. Incredible. The cipher must have transferred an understanding of the Prothean language into your mind. Not safe. Seek refuge. Inside the archives. What's it what say? is it? Can you make out Nigerian? I don't understand. Old Reapers. The Citadel. 
overwhelmed. Only hope. It's a threat. Act of desperation. The conduit. Okay. All is lost. Maybe if we listen to him say the conduit need help, all is lost, the citadel one more time, we'll be able to put it all together. It said something about the conduit, but it's too degraded to help. We should go. Cannot be stopped. <laughs> Wait, Cannot come back. The message isn't over yet. Speak Quebecois. That makes a lot of things. Uh, makes them make sense. Wish I had the Mako right now. Best song. Best song still coming? Yeah, there's a lot of best songs in this game. But this one's the best out of all of them, is what I've been hearing. Zero dropped frames today, wow. Very impressed with you, OBS and my internet. Can't believe it. This is like a, 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 a first for the channel. Return to your vehicle. Time to climb in the Honda Odyssey and go for a drive to the archives. That's a, that, you know, that's a solid choice, actually, Zachary. Because there are a lot of tracks you could have picked in the series, and you would have been justified in choosing them, but you chose the one that rarely gets singled out as a Donkey Kong Country favorite. I respect that. All right, Dredd, you know, when you see Silvar is not around, you decide to take up the mantle. Somebody's got these giant clown shoes to fill. Why not make it Dredd? They look like stasis pods. The Protheans probably tried to keep themselves alive through cryogenic freezing. Guys, the missiles are spoiling the ambient music. I'm the court wizard. I'm no clown. I'm no jester. What's happening? It's a trap. Not even Third bullets and destroy I don't it. Think behind this. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Oh man, never recreate it. Let's blast our way in. Oh wait, it's an elevator. Put your guns away, everybody. If this were simply an automated trap, Saren would have triggered it. What do you think this is? Don't get an your hopes up. The only thing we can depend on right now is ourselves. And often not even that. You are not Prothean, but you are not machine either. Thank you. This eventuality was one of many that was anticipated. This is why we sent our warning through the beacons. Looks like some kind of VI program. Pretty badly damaged. I do Break not its sense neck, the taint of indoctrination upon any of you. Unlike the other that passed recently, perhaps there is still hope. Wait a minute. 
How come I can understand you? Why aren't you speaking the Prothean language? I have been monitoring your communication since you arrived at this facility. You're hard to look at. I have translated my output into a format you will comprehend. My name is Vigil. You are safe here for the moment. But Virgil. that is likely to change. Soon, nowhere will be safe. I don't have time for Sarah this. Could be at the conduit right now. We Open have the door. You seek to end a cycle that has continued for millions of years. To stop it, you must first understand it, or you will make the same mistakes we did. The Citadel is the heart of your civilization and the seat of government, as it was with us and as it has been with every civilization that came before us. But the Citadel is a trap. The station is actually an enormous mass relay, one that links to dark space, the empty void beyond the galaxy's horizon. When the Citadel Relay is activated, the Reapers will pour through, and all you know will be destroyed. A perfect trap. Perhaps I could do something like this. The Reapers can wipe out the Council and the entire Citadel fleet in a single surprise attack. That was our fate. Our leaders were dead before we even realized we were under attack. The Reapers seized control of the Citadel, and through it, the mass relays. Communication and transportation across our empire were crippled. Each star system was isolated, cut off from the others. Easy prey for the Reaper fleets. Over the next decades, the Reapers systematically obliterated our people. World by world, system by system, they methodically wiped us out. Some of you must have managed to survive. Through the Citadel, the Reapers had access to all our records, maps, census data. Information is power, and they knew everything about us. Their fleets advanced across the every Reapers read your documents? I was picturing this giant, gargantuan space Others robot reading a tiny piece of paper in his little hands. They These want to Pluto. servants became sleeper agents under Reaper control. Taken in as refugees by other Protheans, they betrayed them to the machines. Within a few centuries, the Reapers had killed or enslaved every Prothean in the galaxy. Reapers are just, they I thought you said Reapers are just Redditors for a second. <laughs> it's like, hold on now. Let's take it easy on the Reapers. You said you brought me here for a reason. Tell me what I need to do. The conduit is the key. Before the Reapers attacked, we Protheans were on the cusp of unlocking the mysteries behind mass relay technology. Ilos was a top secret facility. Here, researchers worked to create a small scale version of a mass relay, one that linked directly to the Citadel, the hub of the relay network. The conduit's not a weapon, it's a back door onto the Citadel. What happened next? We severed all communication with the outside, and our facility went dark. The personnel retreated underground into these archives. To conserve resources, everyone was put into cryogenic stasis. I was programmed to monitor the facility and wake the staff when the danger had passed. But the genocide of an entire species is a long, slow process. Years passed, decades, centuries. The Reapers persisted, and my energy reserves were dwindling. You were cowards. You didn't even fight the insurmountable evil robots that have portals into dark space where matter doesn't exist. You should have fought. <laughs> we were a few hundred against a galactic invasion fleet. Our only hope was to remain undetected. I began to disable the life support of non-essential personnel. First support staff, then security. One by one, their pods were shut down to conserve energy. Eventually, only the stasis pods of the top scientists remained active. Even these were in danger of failing when the Reapers finally retreated back through the Citadel relay. There were hundreds of stasis pods out there. You just shut them down? You killed them? Oh, well, now that we're talking about killing people, all of a sudden Shepard is perfectly understanding of the situation. Oh, hold on, Tally. Sometimes... You can Hundreds of deaths are necessary. To sacrifice some so others can Even live. millions. This outcome was not completely unforeseen. My actions were a result of contingency programming entered on my creation. I bet they didn't tell the non-essential staff about this contingency. I saved key personnel. 
When the Reapers retreated, the top researchers were still alive. My actions are the only reason any hope remains. Mm, it's a little bit of an ego when for the researchers uh, woke, they AI realized program. The species was doomed. There were only a dozen individuals left, far too few to sustain a viable population. Yet they vowed to find some way to stop the Reapers from returning. A way to break the cycle forever. And they knew the Keepers were the key. Keepers, Reapers, keep it straight. I can't understand all this medical mumbo jumbo. Aren't they under the influence of the Reapers? The Keepers are controlled by the Citadel. Before each invasion, a signal is sent through the station compelling the Keepers to activate the Citadel relay. After decades of feverish study, the scientists discovered a way to alter this signal. Using the conduit, they gained access to the Citadel and made the modifications. This time, when Sovereign sent the signal to the Citadel, the Keepers ignored it. The Reapers are trapped in dark space. Saren can use the conduit to buy oh, It's the a long one today. Defenses. Last one was long Correct. too. And once inside, he can transfer control of the station to Sovereign. I wanted to get through Sovereign this area before I called it. And, manually and provided the there's not a whole bunch more dungeon after this segment. Will begin again. I probably will. Although if there is, I might call it. I'll take Sovereign down, somehow. What he lacks in brains and morality, he makes up with raw, idiotic grit. And that's what we like about him. Citadel's master control unit uploaded to the station. It will corrupt the Citadel's security protocols and give you temporary control of the station. It might give you a chance against Sovereign. Wait, where's the Citadel's master control unit? I've never heard of anything like that. Through the conduit, Follow Saren. He will lead you to your destination. Saren's got enough of a head start. Is Elos over at this point? Go. Or the is there like more has not reached the to do? Not yet. There is still hope if you hurry. I, f I feel like I'm like gonna start having a seizure. Uh, you know, having a flashing light enemy is one thing. It's another altogether to Make the camera zoom in on them as close as possible so they're completely unavoidable, even if you look in the other direction. That's a wrap for Elos? Alright. Quiet, I'm trying to think. Just like my people. Even their last plan failed. Keep it moving. I've got no intention of ending up like them. Nice. Hell yeah. Please wrap it up. We're wrapping. We're wrapping. I e want to hit one more ramp from the road. We'll probably begin Mass Effect 2 on the next uh, next stream, I think. Given that we are so close, this game's a little shorter than I remember. Although I didn't do like the side quests and stuff. What do you? What's the? Is like? Do you really get? great stuff from the side quests. Is there a reason to do them? I don't really like plan on it, but I'm just curious. Oh no. More enemies? I was promised that this was a wrap. Hey, thanks for the 10 bucks, Infamous. Uh, I appreciate you uh, sticking around and watching it. I'm, uh,. I'm glad that you enjoyed it. And may you be able to join us next time for the grand finale too. Saturday morning, it's not a super common time to do a stream. So the people can make it, usually do make it. There's a core of people who show up quite often. 
And I am glad to see them here always. It's like familiar faces, you know? I feel like if I streamed at like only like 8 p.m. on Friday night, it would be a who's who of schmucks. Next stream will either be, uh, like, this upcoming Saturday again, like, next week, or the weekend after. But, with few exceptions, Saturday mornings. All the free, exactly, it's like, um... Jason takes Manhattan Friday the 13th when they're in like New York and there's all these like sort of semi wholesome 80s criminal ideas like with huge mohawks and they're wearing like spiked vests like it's a Mad Max movie that's what it's like and they're listening to like royalty free hip hop on a like a ghetto blaster there the conduit it's incredible <laughs> We don't have time to admire the view. We have to get through that relay, and these Geth aren't going to make it easy on us. Yes, like Escape from New York, exactly. <laughs> We're glad to hear it. You're always welcome here, as it goes without saying. Otherwise, I wouldn't publicly live stream. Activate the defenses, seal the station. The arms aren't moving. System just just rose from her grave, so that's how you know it's been a long stream. Abandon the Citadel. Evacuate the council. Citadel Control! Citadel Control, do you copy? Everything good? You've come out looking very frazzled inside of the computer, so... The, the stream is almost over. Things have been rough this whole time. Don't worry. I'll get us out of this mess. It did a great job. Critical Let's wrap it up. Official wrap. The wrap, finally. Please begin emergency <clears throat> evacuation. It's a shame to end it right at the final part here, but I just don't have another like long final dungeon and ending cutscene in me today. And throw in a save. And golden. What's the playtime at here? 12 hours, 30 minutes. Yeah. Quarter playthrough, but it is what it is. All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming by the stream. Appreciate you guys. Uh, tune in next time for the grand finale and the beginning of Mass Effect 2, where uh, every stupid decision you've ever made comes back in exciting ways so you won't want to miss that all right take it easy everybody